<laughs> yeah, this is what happens when you uh, boot up um, this program. It uh, it's just this until you load a ROM. Let me turn off the. You guys broke into my capture. house and threatened to murder my son if I didn't give you business. Yeah, so uh, Martin Cabello clips are now um, 3K, but that's because I want to add more. Right now we only have one new one, so good luck rolling for it. I have that Game Boy. I um, I only ever remember using a GBA Game Boy Advance, the fucking, the final one, the flip one. You guys broke into my house and threatened to murder my son if I didn't give you He smells so good. This is the new one. Smells really good. We're gonna get some um, Benadryl. <laughs> A story in two parts. A oh, fucking controller. Hold on. Hey, gang. The only thing that's been annoying about this um, yeah, is Game Boy Advance emulator. Is that it has just straight up um, every time I fucking reopen it, I have to make sure that the controller is selected, selecting the right one. It's never consistent. Because for some reason, it says that there are three Xbox 360 controllers connected to this, even though I only have one DualShock 4 DS4 Windows moment. Yeah, that's him sniffing a bee. So I made a macro. Um, here we go. Three hours already, well. I made a macro that um, presses L and R at the same time. I put it on triangle so I can do um, recom style triangle mashing because, you know, we've been pressing fucking... We've been using strike raid 90% of every encounter. Is a 360p in the combat on YouTube international? <laughs> Intentional, I think you meant to say. Um, no, it's not actually. I don't know why the fuck YouTube is dragging their ass on uh, processing my video, but they are. And it's really annoying, but also kind of fine because look at this game that I'm playing right now. <laughs> really, the only problem with the 360p is that the rewards in the chat are all fucking scrunched. But the gameplay itself is fine, so I'm just gonna let YouTube take 10 years to process that one. It's fine. Nothing I can do about it. But within the week, it should fix itself. This is the longest I think a stream archive has gone. Stuck at 360p. It's annoying. I have a see-through Game Boy Color. I didn't know Twitch Global had a fucking nerdy emoji. Oh, it's the sunglasses one. Never mind. Did not mean to flame you. Did you really make the bowling for reward? Yes, but don't tell anybody that it doesn't actually do anything yet. I feel like, okay, imagine if I set it to 1 million, it would be like, um, and like actually put the bowling ball gif, uh, as the reward so it would like actually show up on screen. That would be like Russian roulette with getting a three day ban, I think. You can't even put that shit on YouTube. God, none of these rooms have any enemies left. And I need a seven green. I only have a zero. The uh, bowling ball question mark? Uh, check my Twitter. Newest retweet. Yeah, the ban sham reward, that would be, um... Actually, you know what would be even better? If I ever get... A... It should be... The, um... Donation alert for if I ever get... A thousand dollars in a single dono. Because that's what Asa has. He has. It's not. They wouldn't ban him, but from Twitch. But he has a. Um, he has a system where people can donate to ban other people. It's kind of like Time Out with Bits, but he does it all manually, and he has a more detailed uh, bracket for you know what warrants a ban and how to how to you have to pay, pay you have to pay more to ban like a moderator. And if you if you donate a thousand dollars, you quote unquote ban Asa, and he'd end the stream for 24 hours. Just on the spot. And it has happened once. Uh, I, I've seen it. I've seen that happen. It was quite spectacular. 
So it would be like, yeah, you donate a thousand dollars, a bowling ball gift gets alerted on screen, and then I probably get banned for three days. These fucking search ghosts with their verticality can't do shit. <laughs> you can just get charge backed. That'd be swell. Thanks, P. Mitch. Thank you for coming to the stream. Today we're gonna talk about. I always the appreciate the the, uh, the crossover. I always appreciate people crossing over and uh, joining the streams. You're fucking dead. What card did I just get? I just got an enemy card. You're dead. Right? They will hunt you down like a dog. We got Search Ghost, which is, um, there you are. Oh, it's, uh, Lifesteal. Is this in Recom? I got Creeper Plant. Oh, I got, I guess I got this earlier, too, then. Hey, it's Loose Bracer. You guys broke into my house and threatened to murder my son if I didn't give you business. Should I have marked that tweet as not safe for work? For the song, not the gif? No, I've actually seen that done. I saw somebody um, upload the original Minnesota Fats Vine. Like, the first day that um, marking things is not safe for work um, was implemented, somebody uploaded that clip and marked it. It's funnier to leave the bowling ball gif as not marked as not safe for work, I think. Check Twitter, by the way. <laughs> yeah, Search Ghost is quite good. I should, um... I'll use that if we get into a boss scenario where I need it. You know, the the term normie has had quite an interesting journey, because, like, you know, the connotation of using the word normie means you're anything, you're far from what you would define as normal. But nowadays, people find all sorts of all sorts of ways of using the term, but like without the old connotations of saying "normie." Like people will, nowadays will say, "Oh yeah, I'm neurodivergent." They're basically saying that they're not a normie. Don't be fooled. Whoop! What the fuck? Castle Oblivion jump scare, flashbang, even there are no enemies in this fucking world anymore. They really should have made room cards that have a higher probability of dropping certain color cards. That's so nice strike rate in this game is so cool. It's also cool that nowadays we have um, a way of saying, um, basically, the way of using the word normie but in reverse. You just call somebody terminally online. It's good that we have uh, nuance now. Hey, green card, that is a three. Gotcha. 
Damn, Book, you're going for the throat. Even though, uh, despite the fact that you're online enough to also be one of my moderators, don't ever forget that. If you ended up as a moderator in here, I don't know if I can qualify you as 100% normal either. There's a worse condition of being terminated online. It's called being terminally American. Oh, true, true. Not understanding that all historic architecture is from Disneyland. Okay, being terminally American, there's not much you can do about that. It's a, um, it's a condition I'm fighting every day. We all are over here. Hey, level. Well, well. Luke is engaged? True, that's fair. That's a massive buff. We've got actually difficult things around the corner. Did I get the cards I needed? I was kind of not paying attention to half of those drops. We got a zero, a three, and a eight. Wow, okay. I didn't even need the three. Let's go. Finally. This is the first time that I was walled by not having the right card. Thanks to this version not having fucking roulette room. It's funny, Roulette Room is really just a fucking, like, thinly veiled way of just getting the card you need. It's a really nice quality of life feature that I didn't realize wasn't in this version for a long time. Yeah, on the topic of one-upping the average chat member, I got my Associate of Arts today. You smell so good. It smells really good. We're gonna get some, um, Benadryl. <laughs> We're gonna get some, uh, Benadryl. Yeah, I dragged my ass across the finish line in terms of getting that, because, you know, an Associate of Arts is 60 credit hours in, like, whatever category. But, um... That's like five classes a semester and like one or two summer classes um, for four semesters. But I only did four classes a semester and then I slowed it down to two when I was like starting to full time stream and I was like, I can't be doing this anymore. But today I finally got a fucking class um, from... I, I, I did a little bit of semesters at a university, but then I went back to the community the college when I uh, stopped caring about going for like a bachelor's degree. But there were some credits left over that weren't transferred, so I had to pester the college for like four weeks. To get like one... to get three credits applied. I only needed one elective credit remaining to fucking finish. But I finally did it. Do they have the Ernie Pimp Ride Martin clip? I haven't yet. Every time I um, add clips, I have to like re-encode them and re-upload them, and sometimes it's a pain in the ass. Sometimes I forget until like right before the stream to do shit for the stream. But at least I got it. At least I got it started. Now I won't forget. I dropped out yesterday, based. That deserves just as much congratulations as, as uh, graduating, I think. It's just as memorable and notable. Think about all the things you're gonna do now. All the time you have. It's time for the easiest version of the Oogie Boogie fight. I'm gonna break this manually and save the gimmick for after. Did I just break this card already? He's not even doing anything. Oh, I broke the thing already, what the hell? Okay. Okay, can we strike rate him? Oh, come on. I got like two seconds, alright, well. So I have these. I don't know if I can get like a really juicy one in on him because he's too close. And this arena doesn't expand. Oh, 
But at least the gimmick is very easy here and not annoying. Get a little bit of I need to get more Cloud cards. Cloud is very good in this version, so I've been told. Yeah, you can't get a juicy multi hit on him. Unfortunate. Really? No seven. Okay. More EXP, I guess. I don't have any more free time because I haven't been to a single class since the end of 2020. That's fair. Well, I mean, now you don't even have to pretend to go. That's just as memorable. Like, I I didn't really... Th these last couple semesters of my college experience have not really been taking up much of my time either, but, like, the fact that it's been something I've had to think about is already more than I want to be doing. So now that that's over with, it's quite nice that I don't have to be doing all that. You know? That's just, that's just as valuable as the free time. I did, like, nothing. What the hell? Wow, thanks, Jack, for taking so long to do three spells that he put up the wall. That's cool. Are you gonna do anything? This fucking boss dragging his ass. What are you doing? I need, um, high ethers or whatever restores unreloadable magic. Fight him normally here. He doesn't even try to fight back. He tries to hit you in recom, right? Like he'll, he'll activate a card to like slap you. Or something. Oh, he broke that like a last frame. Love to see that. Whatever. Yeah, Wind Raid is pretty cool in BBS, but the problem is you're stuck in place for an extraordinary amount of time. Because, like, Wind Raid will, like, circle around the target and hit them four times, but... With meager damage, most bosses resist the stun, and you're viable to get one shot during it. Just like all of BBS's fun commands. You're just kind of there to the ground, stapled even. Yeah, Oogie's, Oogie's idle post here is just like dabbing. What the fuck? I don't know why I've, I've barely been in any friend cards this fight. I got like three jacks and I spent the Goofy earlier and like that was it. Like those fart trumpets in my left ear right now. Yeah, Chaos Blade is really cool. Chaos Blade has potential. I've I've used it in the MF fight to like reasonable success. Just because if you have a good eye for it, you can stop pressing triangle when um he blocks. So you like you can avoid hitting him. And Having him get health back. Oogie Boogie. That's a regen card. I remember Proud Mode being an unused content feature in Com or Recom. Um, maybe in GBA Com, but as far as extra unused difficulties, Recom had a. What was it called? It's in the game's files, but it doesn't do anything. It wasn't called Expert Mode, was it? Extreme Mode, yeah, it was called Extreme Mode, and you can hack it onto your save file, and it says Extreme Mode in-game, but it has no different parameters from Proud. Supposedly, it was meant to be, like, a New Game Plus. I think it is Arcsine Time. Oh boy. I don't think my deck is ready for this, but I'll try my best. It'd be 
begins. I need to make emotes out of the uh, GBA com sprites. That'd be cool. Like BTTV GIF emotes for some of these talk sprites would be good. These are good sprites. Like I could just have like a sprite of Larxene talking, and it would it would just be called shit talking, and it's just her talking. Real cutscene. Oh, she a baddie. That's what she's saying. I don't like that the the nominate charm is literally just um the charm that's attached to the Monstro Keyblade. That's always rubbed me the wrong way ever since I made the ever since I realized it. Almost makes me wonder if it's like that because of reused assets. So they didn't have to make anything new in 3D, they were just like, oh yeah, here's this star charm. I hope you don't realize that it was attached to this optional keyblade that most people miss. Because, like, as far as I'm concerned, everything other than Castle Oblivion, like, itself, is just reused from KH1. a yellow star here in GBA. I mean, yeah, it's a yellow star in KH1 as well. Ooh. She backdashed into that. Let's go. Sheesh. Try it. Oh yeah, yeah, I don't know where you are, and you're gonna get hit by that four times. Okay, this is going well. OG quotes. All right, I need to go back to um, Traverse Town after this, so I get fire boost and blizzard boost. That would be good. Oh, fuck. Oops, I mashed triangle too many times. When I say triangle, I'm talking about pressing L and R at the same time. Recon style. I made a macro for it on my controller. So I can just play this game normally. Having to press L and R four times to do one slight is pretty ridiculous. Oh my god, please stop inspecting my asshole with lightning bolts. God, that's a combo. I have better cards in my deck that I don't have on. These Kingdom Keys have to go. Oh, here we go. The one, two. Oh, fuck. I guess I got the cloud off. I guess I got cloud off. I'm stunned? Okay. Potion. Do I need this potion? Not yet, actually. Oops. There goes my zero forever, because I just did that. It is gone for the rest of the fight until I use this potion, rather. You know what I should do? Is there anything else? Fuck it. Man, she's like flying in this fight, what the hell? She doesn't ever do that in any other version of her character. Nothing beats COVID like listening to GBA 13th struggle. Yo, do you have COVID? I hope you uh good luck with that. I hope GBA 13th struggle helps. Hope that works out. Oh my god. This is not a lot of damage. It's actually it's more mental damage than anything. What the hell? This fight isn't that bad, actually. Got 
tried doing that walking around on the bottom shit that supposedly works. Maybe that move can't hit you? I don't know. She can't attack laterally, it seems. Can't hit me now. Crazy. Okay. It works for a little bit. It definitely dodges that move because she doesn't get down low enough to do that. This is a battle of attrition at this point, I think. And maybe that's just a rematch thing, I don't know. It works for a bit, though. She just, like, canceled four cards back to back there. What the hell was that? Why does she float? Since when is she allowed to do that? Just idly. During a slate, I get it, but look, she's just like floating while reloading. That's kind of toxic. At least the damage is low. This is pretty reasonable. You have to really fuck up to get killed here. Right, time for that goofy razzle dazzle. Oh, here we go. Please hit. Let's go! Absolutely fucking demolished. Is Thunder good in this game? I can't believe I raised my health for that fight. This version's a lot more fun than I was expecting it to be. Here's some jingling keys, bitch boy. Better than Recom? Honestly, yeah, sure, honestly. The only problem with this version is sometimes you have to card grind for way longer than, um... You really should have to, because you have to find the right card, you have to get lucky. You don't get roulette rooms in this version, but everything else is... ...honestly kind of better. <laughs> What's the difference between the two? Um, a lot of things. Like, um... The fact that one of them is in 2D and the other one has a third dimension in it. And it's also a PS2 game. Yeah, Recom was an extra game for KH2. That's why it's jank. But also more so because it was Osaka's first game. That's the majority of the reason why it was jank. It was their debut. KH1, but the air combos don't let you land on the ground. What specifically do you like more about this version? This game is like... This version feels like a beat em up version of KH1 with the card system on top of it. Like a 2D beat em up, Streets of Rage, but with like the card system and slides and all that. Even air comboing feels like a 2D version, 2D top down version of um, KH1. Recom feels like a shitty version of KH1 with a card system that people don't like. I like the card system, but it's like the one that's on top of a shitty feeling version of KH1 that's a little different. And besides, this version has aged very nicely with the way that, you know, this pixel art is fucking phenomenal. I wonder what it was like to play this game before KH2 came out. Yeah, that would be... 
a crazy window of time. There's only like a one or two year period where that was even possible to do, right? Because this game came out not long before Cage 2. I was looking at the announcement, um, that one chart that um, Key to Truth made about, um, I think it was Key to Truth, it might have been somebody else, but about, um, I was looking at the announcement dates for all the Kingdom Hearts games, because, you know, somebody made that chart where it was, what date was it announced and what date was it released, they, was, they were looking at the gaps. Mainline games had like a, um, KH1 had a one year gap, KH2 had a two year gap between announcement and release. Um, so did, um, BBS. But I was looking at the announcement dates and both, both this game and KH2 were announced at the same event. Yeah, 13th Vessel. Vessel, thank you for the correction. Um, because the the announcement dates were the same, so I'm assuming that they were announced at the same event. Cage, uh, Cage 2 and Com, And then also Days and BBS. 13th Methyl. Sorry, my mouth is dry. Yeah, as for development, I mean, both of those games that were announced at the same time, Com, Cage 2, and, um... Days and BBS. Those are two two different uh, developers, and they released a year within each other. Like this game, one year after announcement, Cage Two, two years after announcement. Same with um, Days. Same schedule. Those events must have been fucking stacked. Imagine being a Cage fan who like actually caught up with those trailers and like announcements when they first came out. Two fucking games at the same time. Yeah, talk about eating. I guess eating shit in, in respect to, um... Uh, Days and BBS, but that's a different story. A uh, hundred acre wood. It's time for social credit. That's where the sprite comes from. Just flipped. That's what they used in that meme. That's why I added. That's why I added it. So it was like, oh, the GBA gun. Hooray! Why the fuck doesn't Square Enix release this version as a mobile game, like today? What are they doing? What are those boneheads doing? Putting KH3, making KH3 a gotcha game with medals and calling it Union whatever. Well, missing arc. Missing record. Broken record. Missing link. More like broken record, because what the fuck are they up to over there? Just put this game on mobile for like. Make it free, honestly. Fuck it. Square Enix would never do that. Or you know what they should do? I talked about this last time I played this, but um... It should have been a gummy phone game in KH3. Like, you scan a QR code and instead of it being fucking Mickey's cum adventure, it's just... Oh, holy shit, the entire GBA cum ROM? That would have been so cool. Yeah, and Days 2 would fit nicely, wouldn't it? KH3 could have- oh. KH3 could have soft-ported those games. Hard-ported, that'd be hard. If they did that. What the fuck am I supposed to do? I just gotta walk his dumbass all the way over here. Oh, there they are. I gotta walk in between, uh, poo points or whatever they're called. Honey, yeah. Wake up. Oh, I gotta... Oh, okay. I forgot about this button. This is where the RC comes from, from Cage 2.
This is a better 100 acre wood than cage 3. Yeah, his art style works well for this kind of world. Where are the Moogle points? I think I have to beat the world for this place to become super juiced with those drops. Oh, I just like... Drifted. I'm holding up and it's pushing me to the right. What happens if I make him fuck with these balloons? Wake up. Holy shit. Getting all that air time, you're just gonna land in a hole. Look at that. Oh, here we go. Remember the, um, oh man, I really have been meaning to make a video on this for a long time, but the, um, the Moogle point grinding tech I invented for this game in Recon, where um, on the twelfth floor, when you have no party members because you told Don Goofy to fuck off, when you go when you get to that point in the game and you don't have them as friend cards and you go back to Agrabah and you just um, spam level three Aladdins in meeting ground card rooms with stop, so like you get all the enemies in like one corner, Aladdin like multi hits all of them while stopped. And you get like 500 Moogle points on the spot. I need to make a video about that. How long is this place? Are these actual mini games you can do? Or is this kind of just here? I'm not doing that. Even if I could do it. Over here. What's up, Beijing? Do you get anything for these mini games? Am I like not doing them? What are we doing here? Is it just like recon where I actually get cards for doing these and should I be doing these? Is Cloud still here? You get cards? How the fuck do I even activate these thingamabobbers? You can get Poo to do it? How the fuck is he gonna do that? I definitely walked past one or two of these mini games already. Oh my god. Found the French mod for Cage 2 since you want to try it out. I actually won't be needing a mod for um, French Cage 2 because I have um, the means of playing the original PS2 version, which we will be doing. But I do plan on modding my PC version have French lines for a little bit. How do, how do I activate this? What are we doing here? What's the difference between the versions? Um, well, besides the language, the PAL versions, so the European versions, are, are, have a lower frame rate, higher resolution, more issues. And apparently the PAL version beeps more often. And sometimes the limits whiff, which is funny. You activate this a bit later? Okay, so I just kinda go. How long does this shit go on for? Wow. I don't know 
What cards? Are there any cards worth getting here? This is very... Oh my god. It just keeps going. I guess I could just do that. Elixir Bambi Spellbinder. I actually don't think I want Spellbinder. Because if I get Spellbinder, then Moogles are going to keep dropping it, and that card deals thunder damage, and some enemies heal off of that, and I don't like that. Yeah, all versions of KH2 on PS2 beep, but I think PAL might have a tendency to beep even more. Oh, I, I remember seeing- the, ver the first time I ever saw any Cage 2 PAL differences was when I saw a Cage 2 PAL speedrun at a, a, like a, some kind of, um, not a GDQ, but like, um, the other ones. I think it was ESL, European Speedrunning League, Salad was doing, um, a Cage 2 PAL speedrun. It was, um, it wasn't the French version or anything, but it was the European version, so it had, like, normal quotes. Imagine if Kingdom Hearts got British quotes for their version. The British version. Imagine if they got a different set of English voice actors, just like Ape Escape did. Two pound two pounds of solo training is so slow many bosses can drop out of it in a break. Yeah, the break in whiff. I remember seeing that in um the ESL run. I also remember seeing it beep a shitload in that one <laughs> in that one stream. Down Google might be looking for Orin. Ooh, that's a I can get behind that theory. Orin Hades. For some reason my mind first went to Yozora. I don't know why the hell they'd be looking for him or would even know where he is. I hope that he's looking for Orin. I hope Final Fantasy characters are back into the fucking franchise, like they're supposed to be the whole time. Sheesh. Lots of takes on the timeline disparaging people that want more Final Fantasy balance in the mix in Kingdom Hearts. A lot of takes are not very good for my health to read. People love the literary value of the same fucking Disney retelling world for the 600th time. Gotta hit the bees for this one, bees. These nuts? It's your timeline then? Cut. Well, sometimes it's out of my control. At least until I mute them. I, I, the only reason why I saw that tweet is that somebody actually, I actually like follow was dunking on somebody talking about, um, somebody shitting on people. They're like, oh, you only want, you, you don't want any Disney? You don't want any Disney? And then they made a food analogy about it, and I was like, come on, man. I don't know where I'm going. These are bees? Bumble Buster? Yeah, I mean, I'm fine with Disney being there. It's just... Final Fantasy versions... Kingdom Hearts versions of Final Fantasy characters are literally Kingdom Hearts characters. So, them not being in Cage 3 is like half the fucking cast has disappeared. It's that simple. Oh, oh, the actual... Okay, there it is. What? That's a bees in this talking about it. I don't even know what I'm doing. Boo, can we just get, get this over with? Why are you stuck? I like talk now? What's going on? Oh, okay, he was just stuck. I thought he was like trying to talk to... Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna take the time to get any of these fucking cards. This shit's jank. Still better than Cage for though. What if Noctis ends up being the super boss? Could you imagine that? Like, they didn't, like, just like KH1 Sephiroth, like, he's not really part of the plot in any way, he's just kind of there to be, like, famous. I think that would be a really cool way of actually using a real Noctis in, um, in the capacity of a Kingdom Hearts game. Just, like, have him there for 
Like the most fan servicey boss fight ever made. It'll fucking slap my nuts off. Because that, you know, they can't really. I don't think they can really do much with that character. Otherwise, because you know, all the baggage Nomura is carrying around with that game. For reasons I won't explain, it has to be old Noctis. Hmm. I won't ask. Yo. Thank you for the bits. Let's just get this fucker all the way to the end of this so I can do the bare minimum here. Last night somebody had the audacity to tell me Quadrant was just going to be the tutorial world, and, and then they would go back to Street style Disney worlds. I hope for my, I hope for everybody's sake that that's not the case. I hope Quadratum is like a massive hub, and like there's a lot to do in the city, or like there's there's a lot that happens in the city rather. Because I don't think if they if if Cage Four ends up having the same world structure as Cage Three. Then it's a wash. It, it'd be a wash. Like Cage to Hall Bastion Radiant Garden. Yeah, that. Uh, okay, that, but like times two. Is what I would like to see. Bare minimum. Cage 3 was just hard mid. That's just... the easy way of putting it, really. That's just how it was. The worst 9 out of 10 I've ever played. Mid equals better, mid average, painfully average. They got Bambi for doing nothing. Oh, here we go. But I think something that bodes well for the future is that who is a sexy guy. He's what? just a sexy guy. And uh, you know, the gamer girls are really gonna like it. Something that bodes well for the future is that I attribute a lot of Cage Lee's issues to what I like to call the handheld arc. I know it's not correct, but I like to categorize Kingdom Hearts into um, three arcs. The original trilogy Here's the most toxic thing. Here's the most toxic way I could put it. Uh, KH1, Calm, and KH2 is the original trilogy. I know how inflammatory that sounds, but it's true. Um, Days is an honorable mention between the original trilogy and um, the handheld arc because it doesn't really fuck with the lore much of KH1 and 2. And then you get BBS, DDD, recoded in KH3, that basically made KH3 a game all about wrapping up loose ends and not introducing anything new until like the last quarter, last like quarter, last 5% of the game. And all that was set up for KH4, which is the new arc. And that makes me feel good and excited about where we're going because it's a, something of a blank slate. Whereas KH3, I attribute a lot of it to just being the fact that um, we gotta wrap up, we gotta, we gotta wind up all these things that we unwinded in, during the handheld arc for some reason. I don't know how good these raids are gonna be unless they're perfect. More of that, please. 
Imagine that with like a fire boost. Holy shit, Riku replica, not like up my ass the entire fight. Crazy. Never heard of this. This theme is so calm in this version. I kind of like it. line this up. Oh, that was like barely as fucking little skirt. I'm sliding on the pavement a little bit. I need more clouds. I need the Omni Slash. I don't have any enemy cards on. I did not look at my deck at all. This is the same deck as the Lark Student deck. Oops. It's not supposed to sound like that? It's missing one sound channel? What's happening? I didn't change any settings on this emulator. Ow, I just got finisher. I'm stunned. I'm stunned. Holy shit, he's doing actual strats on me where it just does one twos over and over again. Actual strat in dark mode. It's a game issue? Oh, okay. Look, I'm. This is, these are. These literally feel more like KH1 air combos than anything ever put onto a disc by the team of developers, which took over the franchise, starting with Recom. <laughs> I don't know why I took the roundabout way of saying that this time, but you know, gotta mix it up. I'm willing to accept the loss of um, KH1 and KH2 style physics if it means that um, they can start focusing on making mob fights fun for different reasons, which I don't know how they'll do. But at least they finally upgraded from the air combos being non-functional to being functional, but, you know, there's kind of ground combos in the air. Nice. New slight. Antisukin. Oh boy. Alright, they gonna do better baby beep beep and they better just beep beep. Any better cards? I don't know what this does. I need to go. I need to look at the journal to see card plates, fucking card placements. They bury this shit in the journal. Let's keep waiting. Not much of an improvement between the three, so I won't focus on that one. Three wishes finisher. Olympia finisher. That sounds about right. This card's trash no matter what. Okay, just Olympia and three wishes in the last um, last slot. I think you said that trilogy take was wrong. Unless upsetting BBS fans is wrong. So again, nothing was wrong. True. True and real. The only reason why I say that that take is inflammatory is, you know, calling it the original trilogy is invoking some Star Wars discourse. Kind of intentionally. God, my fucking cards suck. What the hell? Well, I guess if it's the last slot, it doesn't need to be a high number because it's, you know, you've, you've already won at that point. Oh, that's a seven? What the hell? Oops. Shitter kingdom keys real quick. There we go.
I just hope that, in addition to everything else I want, um, I just hope that uh, KH4 doesn't implement um, Stray Letzia in a way that's like, the game already expects me to know her blood type because of, you know, playing the phone game, which I did not, you know? Like, introduce her as if she were new. Introduce her as if nobody played the game. Just like Square Enix of North America says, oh, she's a brand new character. If they write her into the game, it's like, oh yeah, Lorian's gonna show up, but we're not gonna explain this shit at all. Then I will be not particularly, um, I think that that will be an L if they do it like that. Introduce her as if nobody knows, because nobody kind of does. Unless unless you're a Terminal Online Kingdom Hearts fan, you, are, you already know her story. Definitely not going to treat her as a new character because everyone plays Union Cross in Japan. Probably, yeah. Like, at the very least, have some kind of decent recap. Or, you know, retread old ground in some way. Huge exposition hold that explains her story. Yeah, that's what I... That's what I'm hoping for. Just kind of... Just include it, you know? Even if it's just saying the same thing again. Some kind of recap that isn't like, oh yeah, here's the memory archive on the main menu. No. If you're breaking enemy slate with Zendis, so you can just get rid of all three or just the front one. I think it gets rid of all three. Insert the Union Cross Theater mode into the main menu. Insert the Union Cross theater mode into the garbage can. It's actually probably a good plot. Even even Ren says that it's actually pretty well written, and that that's high that, that that's high praise coming from her. That means it's actually genuinely good plot. Why haven't you watched Union Cross yet? I'm saving it for a good time. I want to do a stream where we watch the all the important cutscenes. And now is like, now that I've waited for KH4 to be announced, it's, that time is coming closer and closer. Because, you know, everybody needs to get acquainted. Oh, yeah, we gotta go back to, um, before I map the next world. I'm gonna go back to Traverse Town and get element boosts. Namora, but it's holding the Morsi in it. They should just make an anime out of that shit. I would watch that. Make an anime out of it and put it on the fucking Cage Horde disc. That would be swell. Gotta watch the FF15 anime. I didn't even know they made an anime. Any cozy summer RPG streams like Nocturne last year? Yeah, we're gonna be doing Digital Devil, Di Digital Devil, Digital Devil Saga again in June, more or less. Um, Soul Hackers 2 comes out in the middle of summer, and I also Rido is after Cage 2 French, so that's. I uh, hopefully this month. I don't know how busy this month is going to be. Will there be a spin on the DDS replays? Yes. In DDS one, I'm going to do a triple fizz build between Surf, Gale, and Heat, and in DDS two, I'm going to do a fizz build for Surf, and then use um, Argilla and Roland as my main um, support party members. And nobody else. As much as possible, that game shuffles around harder members, so I'll have to cope at some points, but for the most part, I'm going to use those characters for as much as possible.
that's the spin we'll be putting on um, the DDS playthrough. And perhaps, I think, I will look into doing super bosses. Go to the bathroom real quick and then I will um, go back to Traverse Town. One minute. Chaos. Got back just in time, huh? Because he doesn't have the heart to go on a run, sugar free, to accelerate the healing of his biology while eating his own damaged flesh and blood to greet the growth hormones that are required to raise a king's dome so he can have wisdom. Stimulus package! Basic. I'm gonna put my phone in the charger. Yeah. 
Jeez. Oh shit. What the fuck? I can't have shit in Detroit. Okay. Who are you? Why do I think that was one shot or even hit? I wonder if setting up um, Blizzaga would be better than um, just doing Strike Raid all day. Let's try that on deck two. Just ice here. Yeah, I guess. Fill that in so that I'm not fucked without oh, anything damn. else. I'll just put in a bunch of shitter cards. And Jafar, so I can just spam. Please spawn in the rest, and there we go. Alright, what we're looking for is killing red nocturnes and blue nocturnes last. So that they have a chance of dropping their card. It's cross slash. Well, how do you unlock cro cross slash plus? Do you have to do some winning the Pooh shit like in Recom? Oh yeah, Blizzaga. Hell is good. What the hell? Oh. Hey, uh, hope everyone's doing all right here. Whenever people. Do direct donations. It reminds me to open up the stream labs thing so I can actually see those. Yo, Baker Dose with ten dollars. Thank you very much. I'm doing quite swell. Thank you very much. I only have enough for not even two Blizzagas. I didn't even realize. Oops. I'm not getting a lot of, um... Yeah, this is a good place to do card grinding. Just because these enemies go down so quick. I'll see you later, Luke. If I'm watching the uh, banned word movie. That doesn't even track, come on, man. I think I'm better off with, uh, raids. Cross slash plus hall bastion bounty, okay. Are there any worlds that have multiple bounties? Or is it just one per world? Other than um, excluding the room to rewards, I'm not talking about that one particular one. Hall bastions, they're the only one. Uh, I'll just use teaming so I can just get a bunch of enemies. That's what I'm looking for. It's always just one. Except for Hollow Bastion. Okay. What's up, for real? Salutations. Oh, oops. That's a lot of damage. No air magic. Don't fire, no! Got the there. Oops. Nice, when you card break them, they like fall down, so you can hit them with that. What, what are the odds of getting the enemy card? Isn't it like something kind of small, like 2.5%? Except if you're in this room, where it's a bit higher. Is that like that in this version too, or is that a recon thing? Because I know that some rooms, like Teeming Darkness, have um, inflated odds, which is swell. Pretty sure it's like that here too. Yeah, one of the things that's nice about Recom is that it's very faithful to some of the small mechanics of this game. 
Yeah, seven minutes. Gotcha. Hey, I got that. Fuck. RNG worked it almost exactly like we come. That's cool. At least one of these. And also, while I'm here, I'm getting a shitload of room cards I need for the rest of the run, so it's very good to be doing this, honestly. These fights are so fast, especially on GBA. Even faster. Run is putting a hit on Gigi. Brutal. Gotcha. Oh. Fuck this shadow in particular. Sweet. Can't wait for um half price. This shadow's fucking me up. What the hell? Uh, half price gun Octobers, Hunter pistol Octobers. What the hell? Double shadow. Fuck. Man. At least we can confirm that the odds are inflated because that was um, the very inflated odds. I just got two of them. Is that all the enemies already? This place is huge, and I got them all already. They must have all converged to my position and then all died. Hate that. Is that going to be their turn of FPS nights? That'd be swell. I need to really need to put the Quake Club together. I've been busy with things that are not Quake, which sucks. I saw you were playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Thank you, Discord, for telling me exactly what you were doing today. Yeah, no, I am making sure to kill the enemy last. It's just I have not been getting the last enemy to be the Nocturnes very often. Got new hard drives, so I downloaded all the COD games, hell yeah. I need to look into getting like that Proton thing for Modern Warfare 3. The game looks fun. Oh, plutonium, not proton. Proton is some Linux shit that I don't understand. My bad. Plutonium. I I bet you already have a long time ago, but Rundus, if you could send me the details for plutonium, I would appreciate. Hey, I got one of them. Let's go. That's both of them? I got one of them already? Did I get Red Nocturne? I didn't realize it. Both of them? This one. Oh, what the fuck? Since when did I get both of these? Okay. Gaming. I do have both of them. I don't... I must have missed it. Alright, I'm gonna clear out this room and then we'll get back on track just because the card grinding potential is very good here. And it would be nice to get another set of these boosts so that I can have multiple in the deck because I don't think that the... I don't think these cards last very long. I don't remember the restriction. It might be like 
one reload, or is it three? I think Morales got red. Chip goes by really fast on this version, so some of them are living in chat. One reload? Okay, yeah, that's kind of low, but that's also good if I'm landing these raids. Clear out this room, and then I'll get back on track. I gotta be waiting so I get all, all of them off that one spawn kill. I'm just getting trolled by the shadows that just decide to show up out of nowhere. Hey, another fucking. There's a third one. I don't need that many. Combo plus is not good in this game. Come on, man. Not the Blue Rhapsody getting killed last. Oh well. Shadows Incrementer. Oh, I guess uh, no, it's Soldier. Soldier is combo plus. You're right. Incrementer, kind of good actually. What the hell? I'll take it. I was gonna sell those cards if it was just combo plus, but then I was like, wait a minute. You're right. Chad is right. For once. Yo, Skyward. Doggo arrive. Doggo arrive. He over the nine months. Thank you very much. One of the best emotes. Okay, yeah, that's this room cleared. These rooms are weird because the rooms are huge, but all the enemies, like, try to beat your ass so they all come to the same spot. So you, like, kill, like, five enemies back to back in the same spot, and then the whole room's empty after that. Weird. Yeah, so don't respawn, which is funny. Alright, yeah, that's, that's all my business here, I think. Also, let's see how many orbs we can get from finished 100 Acre Wood now that it's done. All these little patches drop. How many Moogle points is this per step? I can't pause the game, so I can't see. I think it's one, that's... that'd be abysmally low. Well. I'm just trying to farm these little thingamabobbers. Oh, the slowdown though. There's actual, actual slowdown there. Is this a good way of grinding? everywhere. How long is Piglet's big game? Probably. I'm wondering, okay. Like three to four hours? Okay, I wanna do, it's a, it's a kid's game, are you sure? I'm not quite sure if it really is a kid's game after all. Because um, we're gonna be streaming that game on Halloween. Old game. I played it, it's not long? Okay, good. So I wanna stream the whole thing. On Halloween, because that is a horror game. I don't think that it's worth farming orbs here. Actual creepypasta game. Yeah, it's true. I think we got a Hollow Bastion just right away for the slights. Yeah, fuck it, we're going in.
best way is just to run around cleared rooms. Yeah, it's probably better than, um... Uh, I was just walking around there. And you get to, you know, progress while grinding. Yeah, the whole reason why I'm playing fucking Piglet's Big Game is the foreboding tracks. That shit is, like, actually insane. No idea how prevalent those themes even are in-game, but I'm literally just gonna play the whole game for the meme. Also, I didn't put on those cards I just spent, like, ten minutes getting. Gotta play this. What is this? Fur Fighters? Vigo's Revenge? What the fuck? What is this European game? Look at the fucking- Oh, pal on the top right, of course. That checks out. That tracks. People have been saying that recently. Oh, that tracks. That clears. I'm gonna rearrange my cards so that the fires are first and the ices are second. Oops, that's not what I went. <laughs> Oh. Now what do I want to do? There we go. I wish- okay. I was just testing that. I wanted to see if the cursor was different depending on what the X button would do. A button, B button, whatever, I don't care. Um, it's just the same fucking finger point. I wish they had like a grabby hand if the A button was going to delete the card from my deck or not. And not whatever the hell it just did. Oh yeah, it says in the top left, actually. Fucking idiot. Review decks, this is the menu I want. That's more like it. Only 20, that's pretty cheap for what it is. Now I gotta make space. There we go. This game is so pleasant to play, this version. Oh, this fuck is gonna avoid all my damage. Oh. Oh. You know what? Get this guy out of here. I fucked up deck. It's better kill. Okay, good. Yeah, this game has a very nice uh, soundscape to it. Nice little pleasant, little chunky. Are they guard that? Even from the back? When it comes back? Oh man. Is it all fire damage? Oh, all the enemies are fucking up my strats. Nobody gets owned from that though. Maybe, what if I stock these and then do like a little combo and then activate? Okay, that's more like it. What's the difference between Looming Darkness and Teeming Darkness? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my fuck. It's a multi hit? This is the first game that have multi hits in it. Oh fuck. Let's go. Looming, they're faster on the map. Oh, is that the one I'm thinking about from Recom, where they chase you down, and it's really scary? Oh, not only did it not do any damage, it turned me around. Fuck. Not what I wanted. Okay, it's the Dark Pulse here. Of 
good thing about using all my all my um, fire raids is that by the time I reload the deck, it'll all be a normal deck I can just mash X on. And it's now officially my birthday in my time zone. I'm officially 30. Wish me a happy birthday, chat. It's gonna work this time. Nobody's biting. Oh, I forgot. Nice thing, my bloggers. Base. Oh, there it is. What was the combo for that? Smoking sexy style. Cloud stop and any attack card. That's. Does it have to be in that order, or is it any order? That seems really good. Isn't cross slash plus just like the basic cloud, but like you teleport to them or something? And so it's like really good for getting in free hits or something. No oh, fuck no the orbs, man. I guess it's World is two. Two things. No, oh, why am I here already? What the hell? I'm not gonna be using any greens on white doors. All reds. Where am I going? Okay, Hello Bastion is not shaped like this in Recom, is it? I don't recognize this map at all. This ain't right. Is it? No. No way. No way. We invented it. That does not look right at all. Let's, um, do these Sleeping Darkness cards. Sleeping Darkness owns because nobody's moving around and it's the smallest room in the whole game. Oh, I was thinking about Bloodborne PC when it happens, when, not if, when. If that happens, not only could they make a randomizer for it where you have to find the three umbilical cords to beat the game, but they should also do, um... People should make like a kind of like a randomizer roguelike for chalice dungeons where you have to go through like X amount of chalice dungeons and after every chalice dungeon you get like a choice of one of three rewards. Like the little the little um, skeleton dudes come out of the ground and they give you like one of three items like weapons or armor or whatever and you can pick one but not all three and then you go to the next chalice dungeon and eventually you have to like do X amount of chalice dungeons or something I don't know. That'd be really cool. Do like a Chalice Dungeon roguelike mod. I haven't consulted the Moogle in a while. You mean the silly men? Yeah, the, 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 little, the little lantern dudes with the hats in Bloodborne. They give you your first item. Imagine that, but at the end of every Chalice Dungeon, you get like one of three hunter weapons. But you, you can only pick one. Alright, what are we getting? Um, yo, shit, we got the um, bondage packs. Let's go. Oh. Oh! Man. So bad. I'm also not going to save scum these, because I think it's funnier to, um, let it ride. Man! What the hell? Yeah, premiums are good for slides, I guess. Q 
people won. Any good genie slides? Probably not, right? No. I'm not even going to wait for people to answer that. Yeah, I gotta set up Reflectorade. Give that a roll. Give that a, a whirl. Or like a hurl. <laughs> Alright. Big pack. Oh, ow! Oh. You have got to be shitting me. 300 points! It's got a belt around it and everything, man! Fuck. What is- what is that? Okay, well, just look at the draw, I guess. Worst card. Moogle rolls worst card ever. Asked to leave Hollow Bastion. Fuck. Dismal. Jesus. That's the worst shit. That's the worst one I've ever seen. Kingdom Hearts 2 has screwed us again. This is all Sham's fault. Let's make a deck that's just Reflectorade. Wait, I need Cloud for that, do I? I shouldn't have sold those Cloud premiums, actually. No. Yeah, okay, I should not have sold those Cloud premiums. Oh well. I'll get them back later. Let's, um, actually remove some of these Ice Raids. I'll remove all of them so I can just... I need a non-elemental raid for this world because of the fucking wizards, so I might as well. I only have three? Okay, yeah, I'll figure it out later. Menuing's very nice in this game. It always has been, but this version in particular is pretty nice. Alright, two cards. There we go. Man, I could have had two more if I didn't fucking... Well, whatever. They put on Jafar for just all... Oh, wow, that's expensive in this version, too. Okay. Don't need that potion. Oh, one over? Okay. Nice. Where are we? Where are we going? Let's try... Fuck it, Mr. Tranquil. Yeah, I know Jafar does embrace slides, so I'm just, I was just using that for basic attacks. That's a good change in Recom, I think. Oh, this isn't reflector, I don't want to try that. Oops. There we go. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, well that's... huge. Just make sure everything's in front of you, though. Yeah, well that... okay, well that... That's better than elemental raids easily. What the fuck? Yeah, definitely getting those cloud cards back. That's crazy. Please. How many cards do I have? What the hell? Yeah, it definitely just bounces around like a window screensaver, but that's still... When there's a bunch of enemies that can go hard. That's like, even if it is random, it's still really good. Yeah, that's okay. Cloud is top priority. Cloud is top in this version easily. 
Just clear up that door next time I roll through. Yeah, judgment is good too. I saw somebody use judgment as their primary slate for dealing with the final boss. Judgment is like the, the single target version of, um, oops, uh, single target version of, um, this Reflector Aid in terms of being juiced. It actually worked. That was an accidental slight. I didn't lock on. That didn't necessarily help. Nice. All you have to do is hit twice, so it's like... It hits. It bounces around so many times. I should put those at the top of my deck, honestly. Top deck that shit. Raid Sundays. First it's free. First it's going straight. Oh, it's neutral, so it hits through shields, too? That, that, that'll hit through uh, Vexen. Although Fire Raid probably will as well. Yeah. This game's all about just fucking... <laughs> Strike Raid variant number 17. Just let it rip, quite literally. Where am I going? Oh yeah, I got, um... I have the heart key. Yeah, Vexen's not gonna block that shit if it's based on element and not based on hitbox. Is R as good in this? No. You can't even you can't even attack brace R's. It's just like seven basic hits. Can't wait to play as Kyrie. She was fun to play as. I have bad news. I don't think we're playing as Kyrie. Although, here's um here's an optimistic take. Something that I personally hope is something that happens. It would be cool if KH4 was a multi-character game to balance out for the fact that Sora is in hyper-realistic Unreal Engine 5 Purgatory. They should, um, make it a multi-character game where, um, the other half of the game is he plays Kairi, and she's accompanied by Donald and Goofy. So instead of, um, Sora Donald and Goofy, you get Kairi Donald and Goofy. You get some kind of a, a twist, you know? Give some space for... Kyrie to have actual, like, reason, actually good development while being accompanied by those two characters. That's what I've wanted to happen for a while. I think that that would be swell. I just don't have, I don't have any indication that that's going to be the case. Really, nothing to go off of other than that's what I want or think would be cool. Kyrie's too far gone. Tbh, maybe. and press the button. You know, with this kind of an audience, I will actually press the button. I'll see you guys in 60 seconds. Oh, I'm fighting these enemies. Do I have the other button? I'll press that too. Fuck it. Oh shit, Reflect Raid is so good. You guys aren't kidding. Just gotta make sure it's, you know, in the right realm of the screen. No. 
die. You know these enemies are in Cage 2? They're just rare because they never show up. Unless you revisit a world. You revisit a first visit. That's the only time that you ever see them. Oh, it's time for this. I didn't set up my deck for this. It'll probably be good enough. Oh, hold on. Huge, huge potential here. I don't think the body has a hitbox I tried. Yeah, no. Gotta be the head. Head only. What does this do? Does this give me a platform or does it, like, knock her down? It does give me a, a wall? Oh, it's a platform. What's happening here? I keep forgetting I have the Z axis. Y axis? Oh my god. I think the best way to use these here is to get... Oh boy, I'm actually dying. Okay. Get right here. Uh, it's kind of RNG in this case. Not the best on a single target. Okay. These little fire shits on the ground, anything that, do anything that deals damage to you passively is a nightmare in this version because it can break your card without breaking your card. Because it, it acts as a normal hit and not as a thing you can card break. Alright, time to go ham. Time to go beast mode. That's going well. I love big bosses in the GBA game with three frames of animation. Holy shit. It's so much fun to deal with. Okay. Yeesh. This is definitely the weak suit of um, this game, the bosses here. Also, I need to be using both of these cures at the same time, and not just one after another. This is not the 80 HP challenge, where I can get away with that. Oh my god. What is this? Yeah, no idea why they didn't make this turn-based. Okay, um, this is definitely a case of getting my, um, blizzards back, blizzard raids here. Which will be easy to do because of, um, the way menuing works here. Just do that and it's already slotted. Look at that. Oh, nice. Basic attacks didn't do shit, so I'm getting rid of that and going all in. Do it out. I don't. I don't think I got a high ether because I didn't spend any time in that world. But I'm supposed to get that card in. Oh, guard armor would work here. Actually, I'd actually be able to get hits in. I just need to put in a bunch of cards. Uh, one more. Nope, not that one. Not this time. We minted it. Don't need that zero. Oops. This'll do. Kinda. Yeah, this'll do. This'll have to do. Not the best organization, but I really don't care. I probably make a deck of just reflect raids and other raids, and then I'll make my main deck the one that I change a bunch. Time for a change. This is the one. Time for a change. Guard armor card, very good in this version, out of necessity alone. Ow. Ow. I'm doing that, please. Alright, we need to get tip range here, which is about here. This 
That's about as far as I can get, actually. I think I get extra hits in if the fire is getting hit at the same time because it's slowing down the Keyblade. Use this for whatever it's worth here. Activate that. Oh my god. Shit, I should have slided the, those two cards together. I'm not used to doing anything more than one cure, cure or otherwise. I'm used to being able to use one zero cure to fill my entire health bar because I didn't increase it at all. Oh, look at that health bar. Holy shit, we're gaining. Yeah, this is the strap. Elemental boost, we're good. I'm glad I picked those up. And I'm actually hitting her? Let's go. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oops. He got owned. But fire on the ground. That hit me and not him. Fucking nice. Fuck. Uh oh. Why is that hitting me? I'm nowhere near you. Come on, man. In GBA game. I'm nowhere near you. Nice. Good enemy card strats there. Very good. Yeah, that fucking bullshit shockwave damage. That wasn't even hitting me because I was as far away as I could have been from her. Yeah, it's just the entire ground is a hitbox there, with no visual indication that that's actually what's going on. Oh boy, here we go. I finally fixed my PC after five years a few days ago. I have a 1050 Ti, which is a huge bottleneck. I chose a GPU bottleneck over a CPU bottleneck, but I have one times once. <laughs> this is a, uh, that is a nightmare message to read if you know anything about computer parts. Well done. A a as soon as I read time one times 16 gigabyte RAM, I, I knew. That gave me a, connect, a conniption in and of itself. Alright, let's make this the Reflector Rate deck. You wanna hear the best part? It's 100% true. Is that what you actually did, or is that somebody you know? Yes, I did that. So I know, okay, so I know why one stick, offloading all your fucking RAM into one stick, I know why, that, I, don't, I know that that's bad, but I don't know why exactly, like, what does that do? Like, specifically. Slower RAM access speeds. Because it's all going onto one fucking channel then, right? Instead of, you know, being spread apart. And optimized. Does this work on slides? Or is this all, when it says attack cards, does it mean basic attacks? Like Jafar here clarifies. So, okay, so in the RAM, on the RAM thing, um, is it bad for the same reason that having, like, say, one core, one CPU core in the year 2022 is? Is it bad for the same reason? Similar concept. Pro there's probably some nerdy fucking nuance to that that I don't... That I wouldn't know. Computers. 
even the computers need analysts these days. Well, uh, what movie is that from? That line. Bit crunch tile bastion, yeah. It's pretty pleasant in this version. This is a weird deck. What line? Even the computers need analysts these days. I wish I had one more blizzard. It's a very small line in the movie that it's in, but like the last time I watched that movie, I thought that that line was funny because it was the first time I actually kind of got it. Yeah, Spider-Man 2002, fucking Uncle Ben says it when he's reading the magazine for jobs. Computer programmer, computer analysts, even the computers need analysts these days. Oh, let me close my window. Cold draft coming in. Oh, I, um, I found the meme that, um, was similar to that reward. I found the meme that I was talking about like four streams ago that I was trying to find. Let me pull it up. I um, actually sent it to myself so that I could find it again on my computer and I forgot. God, how long did I send it to myself though? Hold on. Every time, I, every time I turn on my computer, the fucking display capture is a different monitor instead of this one. Okay, here we go. Kingdom Hearts fans be listening to music like this. Yo, where's the movie? Cage 3 final boss theme. I'm this slap. I want to make that a reward for like 10k. To complement the other reward that I have. Okay. Ninkum poop type beat? Is that the genre? Ninkum poop? Come fucking poop. Right, is this deck ready? Yeah, that's whatever the fuck this penis deck. Hold on. Thank you. 
How many letters are here? Wow, it actually lets you do that. Okay, penis deck has been assembled. I'm gonna use this deck though for now because I think I'm gonna run into another Riku fight. Yeah, the age when they let you name your shit whatever the fuck you wanted in your single player game. Wasn't that swell? Is there a mod that replaces K Street's final boss theme with Masters Leonard's data fight music? I don't think so. I don't check the Nexus very often. But that would be good. Dark Domination sucks. There is like a one month period after KH3 came out that I thought it was alright. It's only because, I was, I was coping, I only felt that way because I was like, oh look, it's um, it's, it's the melody from the Lingering Will fight, but it's got Sora motifs, that's cool. And then I was like, wait a minute, it sounds like shit, listen to your ears, Sham. Instead of being, oh, Kingdom Hearts lore makes it good, actually. How are you gonna have a Kingdom Hearts game without fucking Yoko Shimon or a final boss theme? How are you gonna do that? What's your favorite Cage theme? Cage 3 theme? Um, well. Definitely one of the Remind tracks. I just don't know which one in particular, but. I also should think about which one in, in from Base Cage 3 is my favorite. Probably Nort Court from Base Cage 3. I always thought that the Rage Awakened melody was, um, just kind of like, that's the melody for fighting Xehanort. Because that's what, that's what Lingering Will thinks he's doing, and that's, um, what you're doing in Cage 3, so it, it tracks. I can get behind the reasoning, it, it's just a shame that they somehow made the Sora version of the Lingering Will theme, and then also make it not good. I didn't realize that that car broke me off the start like twice. Oh fuck. Incrementer. I wonder if this version of Riku tries to cast zeros to cancel your shit, but then increments it to one and then gets broken. I don't think bosses in this version, this game, really. Um. Well, I don't think that they like stand around waiting for you to do something so that they can zero. Try to dodge roll that upwards, what the hell? I don't know if strike rate strats and solo fights like this are gonna work going into mid game here. Or like end game. Who knows how who knows what world we're gonna end up on at the end of this? Maybe this will be the last Sora stream. There's not a whole lot of worlds left, isn't there? Why do I have wide attack? That should be Jafar. Yeah, this fight's a wash, I think. You know what I kind of want to do? I want to do double negative combo strats. Yeah, this is a wash. I'm just gonna do penis strats and hope for the best. Oh. I should also look into like, other cloud slides. Yeah, the biggest problem with the other two composers in KH3, Ishimoto and uh, Sakito, is they don't do Yoko's style well, and of course that's what they're trying to do, because, you know, they're trying to be a team to, you know, make the game have a unified sound, but, you know, MIDI final boss theme in 2019 tells you what you need to know. With the 30 second C note to top it all off. Here. 
Okay. I should probably have Incrementer on as well, because that's... My cards are kind of low value. Actually, doing pretty well. Just kind of fucking around here. Pretty good damage. Doing basic slights has actually been pretty good. It almost makes me wish I didn't learn any of the um, advanced slights. Although supposedly Sonic Void is good. In this version as well. I don't see this going wrong in any way. Look at the damage. It's so low. Why am I even upgrading health? Oh my god, he's really trying to run away. Do they do that in recoms? Do they like, run away from you to reload? Maybe not that quickly, but... Yeah, recom has crazy, like, auto-tracking on every move. Like, you slide across the ground to make sure that your thrust lands, which is alright. Helps, uh, compensate for the fact that the arenas are big in a card-based game. Yeah, I want to do an OSD tier list. I want to do, like, a bunch of Kingdom Hearts tier lists. Recom R's tracking owns. I love that Recom R is just, like, teleports you almost. Like, uh, KH2 Trinity. DDD F tier? Not really, actually. Not particularly. At least that's not how I feel about it. For the most part. That game has fantastic field and, um, battle themes. Or not battle- not like- yeah, field battle themes, not like boss themes. Boss themes are where things get a little weird for a little bit. Have you listened to Ishimo's work outside of KH? No, but I have heard, um... He did World End- the World Ends With You stuff, right? That's good. He also did the Vanitas themes, and those slapped. That's the first time we see Nominee, isn't it? More or less. Yeah, Ishimoto, I think he's solid as long as he's not, you know, doing the imitate Yoko Shimomura thing. Still planning on watching the Tui anime? Yeah, just at some point. Yeah, I also saw Nominee when the sprites were going crazy, but that's like real Nominee that we just saw in game. That's what I meant when I said more or less. Such a fast save. Somebody in the, uh, the YouTube comments of the KH4 discussion tried saying that, um, Melody of Memories made, uh, Kyrie not a damsel in distress for once. And I was looking at that comment and I was thinking, like, how do you come across that conclusion? Did we play the same game? I'm pretty sure at the end of the game, Sora literally materializes specifically to save her. 
Despite the fact that Sora's fucking dead. Sora's dead. And he still saves her. It's like, it doesn't get any more distressing than that. I don't... I don't know, sometimes I just don't. It's, it's kind of a lot... It's, it's, it's similar to dealing with Marvel fans, I think. Alright, penis duck. Let's go to... Dry Run. Oh shit, that went straight for like, the whole length of the field. Marvel is an interesting comparison. The only reason why I say that is like, I see him on Twitter and they... aren't really... reviewing... the films... by merit, but more so... by merit as a film, but more so by merit of... it being a comic book adaption. That's the only reason why I say that. It's not exactly a one-to-one -one comparison, but... Just, like, not really caring about good writing, or, like, a, a good-looking movie. But more so, like, oh yeah, to what degree does it fucking make it for a good comic book movie? The degree at which... It doesn't need to have any traditional merit. Because it's in its own fucking world. That's more so what I'm getting at. Hey, look, the first room to rewards. Yeah, Kyrie could fucking tie her shoes and people would be praising her for doing something for once. Hey, tornado. Is that good? People comment on films, especially Marvel films, when they know nothing about film because those films always... Those films make them seem like they're cultured enough to talk about it. The Oscars do it too. Yeah. It always reminds me of when Marvel accounts are like, look at this amazing scene. And it's like a, just a, like a CGI, the whole thing is just like a CGI display. Look at this amazing cinematography. And then everybody replies with a green screen. <laughs> yeah, like, I think it's fine for people to be able to like, enjoy the fucking movies that they enjoy. Like, that's fine. No one's ever going to try and take that away from you, but if you can't explain why it's great, then... If you can't explain in, like, concrete terms why you think your art form is good... ...when having, like, a discussion about the merit of it, then... ...you shouldn't be having that conversation. I'm stunned? I'm still knocked. <laughs> Marvel fans should read One Piece, I think. A lot of people are gonna see this as an L, but I think One Piece looks really shitty. Just the art. Nothing else about it, but I think the art looks like shit. And it's always made me kind of do a double take. It, it probably goes hard. For its own reasons, but I look at it and I'm like, wow, that's not very appealing. Like I see Luffy and his giant fucking teeth, and I'm like, hmm. That's your MC? Yeah, I'm just talking about the designs, the, the art style specifically. But, you know. Haven't given the a fair shake. So what do I know? Okay. He fucks his ability. Uh, double negative combo before negative combo. I didn't realize it did this. Apparently it does it in Recom as well, where it just makes your card a finisher. Right away. And I put it on this- I put it on the penis deck because I filled this deck with Olympias, and these have a B rating on finishers, so I'm like just doing finishers. Oh my fucking god. Wow, that's... Could have been very lethal there. Here. Here, 
This game didn't have a difficulty in it, right? Like a difficulty option? Correct? Okay. I didn't even think about it when we started. Scorese is a douchebag? And she got a no opinions? Why? Because he said Marvel movies aren't art? Scorese is an elitist who believes the classes take that films only for people that can economically afford to enjoy it. Oh, I didn't see that. Score easy. Score easy? Uh, should I even care enough to respect him to pronounce his name? Is he buddy buddy with Roman Polanski? Like they all are? They are. They all are. But we're all hung up about Will Smith slapping somebody and giving the Oscars the best ratings they've had in fucking years. Yo, Sherlock Homeboy with the five gifted subs. Thank you very much. The Stimmy. What did I just walk into? Oops. Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate that. That's getting us closer to the um, 2.5 PS3 sub goal, where I play 2.5 PS3 and do all of Data Oregon Gold Crown with uh, the PS3 right next to the microphone so you can hear the fans the entire playthrough. With the shitty load times, that the worst version of KH2 that uh, isn't the Switch version will be playing that at 3.50 subs. Holy shit, finally made it back to a sham stream. Yo, one greasy gal, the eight months. Thank you very much, yeah. Playing based GBA com, very comfy. Good time to make it back. The Oscars should be thanking Will Smith, actually. Instead of banning him for 10 You know what he should do after his ban expires? He should go to the Oscars and slap somebody again. After 10 years. He should do it again. Yeah, the Oscars didn't take away any of fucking Weinstein's Oscars or... And, and they also fucking gave um, Roman Polanski an Oscar after, you know, everybody knew what he fucking did. How did Will Smith get punished when they gave the pedo an award? While he is, was escaping conviction? Yeah, exactly. Woody Allen, too? I'm starting to see a pattern. I think I'm detecting a pattern. space? More or less, yeah. I don't really get into politics a whole lot here, but when I do... It's got a free Moogle deck. We got screwed over on our 300 pack. Deck Sunday. Okay, 
Okay, I can sell enough for, um, something decent. Man, it's a shame that enemy cards don't sell for a shitload. Keep one of every summon just in case. I shouldn't have sold that gravity. Okay. Rolling for cloud. Fuck. Well, it'd be cloud. I should have sold more for the 250. Oh well. Got some fires though. Any red? I think Cloud can be in the Vine Packs. Is that true? Are those... Uh, do those exclude summons? That'd be good to know. That'd be good to know for next time, because that's really what I'm gunning for, is as many Clouds as possible for mobs. slap incident was funny for like a day or two people trying to talk about how it's morally good or bad too so it's ridiculous yeah i mean it's like above all else the default response to it should be it's funny to see two 50 year old actors slap the shit out of each other i mean it wasn't exactly them slapping each other more so one slapping the other it's also you can't really say it's morally right either unless you're gonna be like oh but uh, jada's fucking Disorder or whatever. I don't care. I think it's funny they slapped each other. It's good content. Don't you think we could use some of that? In today's society, just a little bit of fucking actually good TV for once. Not Amy Schumer's feet on a fucking superhero, uh, like a Superman flying rig in the middle of the fucking Oscars or whatever the fuck she did. Don't need to see any of that. Not that I don't know what good TV is anymore either. I've had a, like a billion people send me the edit of the slap. Yeah, bosses in this version are pretty shitty overall. Like the big bosses are a nightmare because their hitboxes are pretty small. Yeah, raw magic is a lot more situational, which is good because of um, how overpowered it is in Recom. Yeah, Will Smith ne never should have been a fucking nice guy. Look at where I got him. He's far too nice for his own good. Decades of trying to be like a peacekeeper and like a. Wait, this is a three, not a five. What the hell is I doing? I thought this was like a five door, whatever. Cloud is five percent in vine packs, five percent in band, ten percent in belt, fifteen in moogle. Wow, I didn't know that. I didn't know that those were weighted. Good intel. I'll go for the belt and the moogles. Kill this guy real quick. Amy Schumer apparently has death threats coming her way. Man, as whack as death threats are, obviously, I am so tired of hearing about people getting death threats. Like, there's a certain degree where it's like, especially with the current internet, the way that the internet is, especially now, it's like. 
at some point, if you're a public figure, you're gonna get one. And it's very easy to send them. Let alone, you know, do anything about it. The, the difference between how easy it is to, to talk shit and, like, actually, you know, fulfill that uh, threat is, um, cataclysmic. So I don't want to hear about it. But, you know, people who are deflecting bad press and, you know, want people to feel bad are like, Oh, well, I'm getting death threats. Good way to... Coming out and, like, saying that publicly is a good way to get even more of them. All I'm gonna say about that touchy subject. Yeah, I mean, I'm not condoning any particular messages, and of course, every every time that, like, there's always a discussion about any particular figure or company getting those threats, it's like, every Reddit message has to be prefaced with, Wow, I don't condone these. That's why it's such a good form of deflection. It's like, everybody always has to, like, go into it. It's like, while I don't... Everybody gets put into the, um... I don't think this is good, but... Everybody always has to preface the discussion with that. Yeah, very few people actually, you know, deserve to be at the receiving end of those. Yo, that's the card that you can't get in Recom. Holy shit. Hold on. Hold up. Where is it? Oh, add. You can't get this in Recom. It's the only one you can't get. You want to know why? It only makes sense to have in um, PvP. In this version. It's the only one you can't get that isn't in the fucking journal at all. I'm trying not to spend greens or blues as much as possible because of how much of a pain in the ass they are to farm. If you're wondering why I'm like sticking around sometimes in this menu. A speedrunning event once had um, PvP, um, GBA com as an incentive. The cool thing about PvP in this, like Link Cable PvP, is you play as one person, player one is Sora and the uh, player two is anti-Sora. Yeah, imagine if it were Sora versus Riku. That would be one-sided in Riku's favor. Except, I don't know, Sora would get slights right off the bat, Riku would have to fucking farm dark points. Whereas Sora could just get fucking get those mega flares going already. And all the raids. I don't know, it might be an even matchup based on slights alone. I love hitting the enemy, I love hitting the enemy. I love connecting hits and hitting them. To derail this conversation about death threats, <laughs> here's a Spanish lesson. Blas Kuridat means darkness hath blush. Yo, Neon Hummingbird, with the good news, the good message, thank you very much. GBA.com meta PvP, that'd be cool to see. I oh, would need exactly a 9. Uh, okay, yeah, this one's better than the green. Need to hold on to those green nines and blue nines for big doors that are color exclusive. 
What are your thoughts on Jedi Fallen Order? Um, I played it for a little bit, but I fell off of it because it felt like janky Sekiro, and I didn't even like Sekiro. That game doesn't let you turn on a dime. Like, all these fucking shitty modern games, including Kingdom Hearts 3, have that little realistic animation thing where they don't let you do a tight circle. And it also, um, wow, Sora, holy shit. Fail ladder. Um, feels like Janky Sekiro with a parry slider that makes the game easier if you want it. That's whack. Just make one fucking difficulty and make it good. It's probably a good game, it's just not... I'm... Because of Jedi Academy and Jedi Academy alone, every Star Wars game I play I go into with a fucking... Comparing it to that for some reason, even though no game can be je what Jedi Academy is. Anyways, if you are a game developer and you put in a stutter step for when you are changing directions, you're probably going to hell. Not my call. It's just the way it is. We play Kotor? Maybe. Now that I understand other genres that aren't action RPGs, I probably will give that a shot when it gets remade. That'd be swell. Where am I going? I went all the way down here just to find out that it had nothing. Swell. Actually, no, it had something. I progressed. Fucking idiot. What do you mean, stutter step? When you change directions in a modern game, like, you go straight from, like, forward to back, there's an animation in the middle where your character, like, actually, like, takes the time to realistically, um, turn, t like, change directions. It's in KH3. Try doing a- try doing a quick circle like this. In KH3, and you'll see exactly what I mean. I gotta upgrade this deck now that I got like a hundred more points. Holy fires. Oh wait, no, that's what I have already loaded. Oh. I do need more ice rays though. That'll do. Oh yeah, that's quite nice. That card does not need to be there. Maybe another cure now, but I don't think I have enough space. I definitely don't, even with the one. I need two more points. Um, not even that. Sheesh. Wide attack, maybe? Or is it, that's already loaded, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm taking that out and putting in Jafar. Because I know this isn't going to be like a shitter fight. Maybe. Can't wait to fuck around and find out with that assumption. Damn it, even. Okay, I don't know you're something. I'm actually going to try Haste. I haven't tried Haste yet. Haste is kind of like a pseudo Jafar card, because you attack so quickly that you can't get fucking broken. Even that, man. Okay, fuck it, I'm just going to stick with Guard Armor. It's a good default backup card. Oh, I'll do Oogie for regen. That's good, actually, if I don't have anything else active. Alright, let's see if there's a nightmare behind this door. He's gonna have fucking random values, isn't he? Or all zeros. Ooh, in that case, I could I could bring um Parasite Cage. Oops, that's disastrous. 
Oh god, look at the look at the background aliasing. Oh. I got a frame earlier that would have caught him midair. Do they really have to make the ship rock like this if it's gonna fuck up the graphics as badly? Oh okay. That really is a combo in this version. I guess second chance. Three uses. Not a lot of health though. Oh my god, this is fucked. Oh, the damage though! What was that? Alright, just gotta get through his second chance box and he's done. Oh boy. Oh, I'm getting fucking DOD'd. Okay. Clutch heal. Please die. Nice! First try. I think I do remember having issues with that the last time I played this version, which was a long time ago, but this time I've got the strats. I wonder the task. Does the task use strike raids? I feel like it's like if you're a task, if you're making a task, then you would just try to land as many, like, four or five hit raids as possible. Yeah, no way they don't. That was insane. Insanely good, and you can set it up really quickly, and you can amplify it. The task skips these? You fucking... I just realized who sent that message. But I... Everybody who has emotes, post stick sham gaslight. I am going to go piss real quick. No! Alright, I'm back. Just got done pissing on a photo of some baked good. Cass uses Fire Raid for Hook, Omni Slash, and Berserk strats for most other things. Omni Slash and Berserk at the same time? Get him. Yeah, playing this game on original hardware is kind of rough because not only are the buttons so small, but you also have to, you know, press L and R four times every time for every slight. Summon boost, Omni Slash. What card is Summon Boost? That'd be worth getting, grinding for. In quantum mechanics. 
Yeah, GBA Calm Tass is really, really good. Crescendos. Those are, um, the trumpets, right? Hmm. I think I have to go back to Wonderland for them. The task uses black fungus. Okay, that's cool. That's really cool. That's a funny card. For those of you who don't know what black fungus does, fungus among us, it um activates a random effect. Any effect in the game you can get from black fungus. So in a task, you can um, make sure that you get what you want every time. I think it does also give you stuff that you don't have as well. Hello Mr. Stickman Sham, I was wondering if I could please become orange again in your Discord. Right pointing finger, left pointing finger. I don't like being purple. Right pointing finger, left pointing Yeah, sure. Got you. Uh, where the fuck is your username? Hold on. Oh, there you are. Okay, got you. Don't oh, your mod badge back. Okay, sure. Okay. <laughs> Big mistake, buddy. Oh, boy. Just what I need. Another treasonous mod. The only, I just I realized the other day the only payment I give to my mods is I let them ban the word Sonic in every variation of it. It's like the only thing that I pay them with. Kappa? No, that was that was of my own illusion. I sent that order. That order was from the superior. They just don't like Sonic. That's, it. that's that's only fair I give them that one word. Press the button. I will press the button. Um, 60 second ad break because, you know, this is a business that I'm running here. Make sure to subscribe with your free Prime sub if you have one. See you guys in 60. Yeah, the character sprites are really good in this. The art in this version is very good overall. Penis music. Oh, I need to put on my penis deck. Oops. Gotcha. 
Yeah, you know, I should put fire raids on the penis deck. Instead of all those weirdo cards I have in there. It's only a separate deck because I, um, I know that, um, Cloud Raid, I'm calling it Cloud Raid now. Cloud Raid doesn't think it work all that well on, um, single target, or, yeah, single target bosses. I just went over, fuck. Why do I have this and that? Fuck, that. fuck those cards. I remember the time I added my username as a block term, nobody was able to add or reply to me. That's pretty good. That's pretty good tech. Yeah, Ren, I give you permission to do that. Bongos are going crazy. Hold on, let me post my penis deck on um, Twitter. This frame right here, actually. There we go. Yeah, not only can they at you, but they also can't do the reply feature. That's neat. Just finished this game myself not too long ago. Yeah, this version is very pleasant. Unless you're talking about Recon. Which is kind of the same game, but not really. Do I have those Nocturne cards in play here? Or you. Yeah. Where there you are. Nocturne. Let's go. Best game. Yeah, so do this doesn't need to be much more optimized than that. Bean stick, equipped. All you ever need. Oh, Bongos are crazy in this version. It's the most prominent instrument. At least in my left ear. I'm excited for Riku mode in this as well. I think that if all goes well, we might actually beat Sora's story within three hours. At this rate, at least. Maybe. Probably not, actually. Things, the world's got a bit longer from here on out. Before we this is the final floor of the second tier of worlds. So, was that 10, 11? Right before the, the real shit goes down.
I haven't had a health upgrade in like seven years. Why did I open that door? I didn't even look at the map before going in there. Fuck. Okay. Oh, yeah, I used to call him Bonnie, that's why. Um, let's open up a move. Ugh, shitty card Saturday, man. Okay. Yeah, so the better the deck, the higher chance of more cloud cards, which is what we're looking for right now. Okay. This card can go to hell, for all I care. Yeah, we got them loot boxes. Okay, uh... Fuck that card too. Fuck the low level stop, I don't know. I'll keep the symbols. What do I need for the big deck? 270? Okay, perfect. Let's go. Rolling for Cloud. Not looking good. You motherfucker. Okay, well at least I got... Okay, whatever. Chip. Hate to see it, but at least I can upgrade some of these fire cards. Not really. It's up upgrade of one. God damn it. Yeah, that crack genie. Genie on crack. Weird ass sprite. Oh. No sleeping? Oh, there they are. Sleeping darkness. Favorite room. Just because it's so small. Oh. Of course. Fucking. DVD screensaver raid, my favorite slight in the game. Check out what this door is, at least, while I'm here. Probably have to go this way up at some point anyways. I don't think I've opened up the black room. Is this black fungus or the room that has no graphics? Okay. Holy shit, it's a trench! What the hell? Oh my god. World War One. What the fuck? I've never seen a room like this in fucking Recom. Have I? So narrow. Trying to be smart about what cards I use. This room is so fucked up. Okay. Fungus? No fungus? Battle of the Psalm conferred for Cage 4. I probably said that wrong, but you know. Why did I use the seven? The five is right there. Oh well. At least this place is wide open. Uh, where are we going? Okay. I don't like to use zeros a whole lot or green zeros a whole lot, but 
I had to reset the count. I swear to God, this is just the room to rewards on the screen. Oh, okay. Why do I even go this way? Why did I think that that was a... Okay, I thought it would lead there. Never mind. Please no, please don't. Yeah, I love mushrooms. Mushrooms are so good. Oh, I did get a, re a key to rewards. Where should I spend this? I forgot all about that. Oh, where should I use it? Here? What do you? What do I get here? Is it good here? Quake? Is Quake good in this version? Destiny Islands is a mega elixir. I don't have to worry about getting super glad because that's not in this. What's a bowling ball gif? Um, it's on Google, you should Google it. Because you're not going to be seeing it for a while on this stream. Okay, if this were Recom, I would definitely agree with getting Quake here, but... Yeah, I'd rather get Mega Flare. But what level do you unlock a Mega Flare at? I doubt I'll be getting to that level. I'm cer certainly by then I'd get another, um, if I were level grinding and I were doing it in higher floors, I would be getting, um... I would certainly get another one. Fuck okay, it, I'll get it. The sooner I use it, the sooner I'll get a new one, because you can only hold one of these cards at a time. I'm just curious. It could be good. I thought Megafire and Quake were invented in BBS. Oh no, BBS ripped off this game with a bunch of... Um, BBS lights are basically just a simplified version of BBS lights. B uh, BBS commands are basically a simplified version of um, Recom lights, and a lot of them are taken from Recom because Osaka made Recom, and they're like, let's reuse a bunch of these fucking things for BBS. Let's um, set that up on the penis deck, shall we? Yo, RD, RJD, with a Prime Gaming sub, thank you very much. It's a good example for everybody else in the chat who's sitting on their uh, Prime subs, maybe. They might be lurking in the background, not using them. They should do that. I would appreciate it. Okay, Quake. Gravity, Simba, any magic. Let's try it at least once. I don't recall this being all too good in um, Recom unless you freeze everybody beforehand. Is there anything worth watching on Amazon Prime? I don't think so, but the real benefit of Amazon Prime is having like one day shipping. Right? That's still the case, right? Gravity, which I sold, and then immediately said I shouldn't have done that. Cool. Okay, never mind. I'll try that slide out later, I guess. Where am I? What about Deep Freeze? Was that also ripped off from this game? Yeah. At least in Recom, I know that there's a freeze slight that um, freezes everybody around you. Oh yeah, House is on Amazon Prime. That's good. <laughs> Why did I Google bowling ball gif? Alternatively, you could have looked at the one of the most recent posts on uh, retweets on my Twitter. Oh. 
Are they guarding? What the fuck? Oh god. I'm out of here. Can't have shit in Detroit. Those guys go invincible like frame one. What the hell? Build me neck. Yeah, can't have shit in Atlanta. Yeah, time for a big Ursula, which will probably be a nightmare, because you know. GBA and all. She weak to fire? I really should have Omni Slash by now. I could put... How many clouds? I have three clouds. I could do one Omni Slash. That's, um, considerable. Weak to fire is Axel. Oh shit, hold on. Oh, game okay, have a Slim Jim in Atlanta. Please don't, please don't, please don't. Okay. Wow, first try. Why would you waste slides on red nocturnes and wizards? Because it kills them, like instantly. Instead of doing a bitch ass three hit combo that gets broken. It's the fastest way to get through this shit. Just line up your strike raids at the right time. Right line up and right time and you just destroy everything with raids alone. Which is good. Yeah, there we go. Hope for the best. Don't know what I'm running into here. I'm still in the penis deck. Okay, it might be good here. Let's see. Mm. Not very inspiring. Yeah. I fucked that up. What the hell? How do I hit her? Okay, get these things out of the way first, right? I don't think I can raid her. I kind of want to just reset this ASAP or else it will take forever to get nowhere, more or less. And I already used my claws, I don't want me slash. Uh, sheesh. Yeah, I fucked up. Wrong deck. Hold up. What's the gimmick card going to do though? Instantly kill all the, uh, the shitters? No. Oh. That would hurt. Yeah, this is gonna be a nightmare fight. 
Might be a good fight for Genie Jafar. Ariel? What's she doing this game? I'm confused. Oh! Drive by in Atlanta? Wow, I'm fucking dead. Oh my god. I'm not gonna heal this. If I die, I'll just use my proper deck. Well, the proper deck just had fucking raids in it. Maybe I make a third deck that just has attack cards for fights where nothing fucking works. Attack cards in the cloud, perhaps. And a berserk setup. Try and steal some cast strats, yeah. Just reset me. I have a Slim Jim. And just dimmy. Oh god, this is the- okay. I hate when Slim Jims, like, you try to open them and they just, like, fold instead of tearing open. It's like, well, I'm not gonna eat that one for seven years because I need scissors. number deck here. Just for getting in hits. These cards will have to be protected by uh, Genie Jafar, but that's fine. Far. Nice. Literally perfect. Right there. Everything I wanted. Four cures, a shitload of attack cards. Oh, I actually wanted Cloud. Yo, Krieg Dog. With the new sub. Thank you very much. Enjoy the emotes. Krieg Dog. Two. On VHS. Do I need all these cards? Not all of them are going to be protected by Jafar, are they? I want enough for three clouds. Do I want the Hades card? It's Berserk, which scaled pretty well in the Hades fight when he was using it on me. That could be good too. I don't know to what degree though. I'll just uh let's just get the clouds in here. The one big on me slash that we'll do in the fight. That costs a shitload, but hopefully it's worth it. Yeah, fuck Hades. There we go. Yeah, Maleficent card for Riku is so good because he has no drawback. It's just kind of a thing that you activate at the right time. Get the most out of it, but there's no drawback. I'm just not going to use, like, wow, that's a, a lot of cards. Okay, cool. deck right here. Oh no. At least it wasn't slight. 
Uh, hold on, let's prepare for this. Let's, um... Get the clouds booted up here. One, two, three. Stop that, and then activate. Cloud! Okay. I was wondering where you were going. I was like, what? Where are you going? But he's going in. Did that do much damage? I can't tell how far it went away. Ooh, it seemed pretty decent. I don't know what she was at before activating that, but oh, pretty good. I should get summon boost. I'll do that next world. What? Bubbles? Will this get her back into on, on screen, please? Where? Oh, pff. silly. Reloading is so fast in this version, it feels like. I might as well put on Dragon Maleficent just because, I mean, I can just, like, preset my... my heal like that. My, um, my heal. My, uh, reload. Use it when I need it. I probably have some slides that I can activate with this point in the deck. Not that... Well, I'm just gonna use it, but... Blitz, like, uh, uh, whatever. Such a long deck. Okay, can we get the Donald swag? Did I? Did I? I'm just gonna, oh, there it is. Get the card and see where it went. Does it not go to the top of the deck in this version? Oh. Ow. Confuse? And still not? Alright, we're gonna need a cloud finish. Oh my god. Wow, okay. That was not what I expected. Okay. That's ridiculous. Okay, well. That was so much damage. That was like so much more damage than anything I've gotten hit by like the whole playthrough. Okay. I was fucking around. I found out. This is all Sham's fault. That's rough. I almost want to use Omni Slash just to get through this first phase, but I'll, I'll wait. I'm just gonna wait till I get a gimmick and then. Yeah, here we go. Alright. It's like 1.15. In the blue. God, it takes so long, man. That was only like 15% health. That was like all the blue. With a boost, that would probably be good. And more of them, I guess. Stack more clouds and have boosts. Just go fucking beast mode. That's what I'm gonna do on Final Marusha, I think. That and Judgment. Yeah, this version's a lot more satisfying than Recom, just outright. Even while doing the shitty fights. Getting things to hit just right feels better than in Recom. Especially raids. You just do that like the whole fucking playthrough. Get that flashing shit off my screen. Jeez. Alright, let's go. Oh. Holy shit, she's got hands. That was like Omni Slash, too. Should have saved that. Would have been good here. Oh, well. must have learned. Jeez. Okay, full Kiraga. I'm not trying to fuck around with like two HP like last time.
Ow. Nice, nice. Give me card. Please don't catch me reloading with some fucking crazy shit. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Okay, you have to press X. Nice. Let's go. Second try. No, third try. First try. Can't send bits? Does it work for you? Yeah, you should test that. It's a shame that's not working. Somebody test bits. Twitch might be broken today, that's a shame. count if somebody just donated one bit and not like actually getting gas lit into like a whole dollar or anything. Fuck. Nice try. Vex in time. No, well that still works. Very well done. Was it gun pointing right at Vexen? Hell yeah. He's about to get shot. I'll get him. Sora gets so mad in this scene in Recom. Like, it, it builds up. Very good scene. Immediate item? Okay, Vexen. You good? Good stoner. Look at that damage. First try. all oh, too early. Just lost a raid. For clown Vexen. Ow. Oh. I gotta be careful, my raids aren't very high value, also nice. I have a bunch of blizzard raids that don't do shit here. Well, in this case. Can he cancel? Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. That's certainly not as lethal as it is in Recon, that's cool. Right, no more fires. Just have to make do with combos here. Really need to get a mega ether or whatever it's called. Nice. Kind of. Oh, there's a three hit. No. Okay. Alright. If we get more Donalds, I'll, I'll, I'll risk it all on the Donald Faraga that will whiff. And then the Blizzard that won't whiff. in hitstone that's cool i'm a scientist experiments are what i do yes you know i'm something of a scientist myself you yeah, think you're the bitch he did it oh it bounces out i think all of should reflect raid let's go that's what i should have done with my clouds emergency raids Fucking Sonic Blade. William Defoe's Vexen. That would work, actually. With the long hair. Would it work? Oh, no, you don't. Fuck. You did it. Oh, here's Sonic Blade. Sonic Blade actually good in this version, too? Pretty 
good. More or less. Oh, Sora. Alright, you know what? We're skinning it all. It would have been good if you were fucking aiming. Try aiming next time. Hey, thank you, Ricky, for the bits. Alright, here we go. Oh. Here, here, here. Why do you- why do they fly when they fucking reload their cards in this version? That's insane. Why do you- why do you all do that? That's crazy. Okay, here we go. Uh, that- it hit once. Do it. I dare you. Hey, yeah. Oh, that was almost the perfect finisher. Speaking of perfect finishers. Another one. Hey, the uh, the ether that I was just asking for. Nice. Oh, 36 already. Wow. Shoutouts to games that give you bossy XP. Time for the first appearance of Twilight Town. Never beat GBA com on either console or GBA. Or GBA com on console. Um. Yeah, I remember. When I was a kid, my brother said that he couldn't beat this game because he couldn't find the 10 card. And when I replayed this game and beat it without needing a 10 card, I was like, what the fuck was he even talking about? Maybe he didn't know where he was going in Castle Oblivion and came to a door that was room to rewards and didn't know how to find it, I don't know. I don't know what the deal was there. That would be cool though if there was literally a 10 card that you had to find and you had to, there was a door that required equal to 10, like exactly 10. I don't know. Is Marosha's hair brown? It looks pink. Ish. Somewhere between the two in this version. Doesn't look quite brown though. If they wanted it to be brown, it would look like Sora's hair. Alright, before I progress, let's go and get um, summon boosts from Wonderland. Yeah, it goes Vexen 1 before um, Twilight Town, and then Vexen 2 within Twilight Town. It's pretty interesting. Okay. None of those were crescendos, but nevertheless, we move. Let's go, um, Looming Darkness. I think Crescendo spawn in this wave. I guess not, those are soldiers. Eventually they'll run into me. Bark Simpson strats. Oh, there they are. Yeah, that's a, that's a final big percent of nice. Oh, that was not the drop I was looking for. We'll get it eventually. It's also good card grinding, because, you know, every clear that I don't end up getting the card I want, I'm at least getting a map card to progress towards um, either the 99 door or any card that I... Any specific card I might end up picking up here, like a 
seven green that I need for Penis Town. I don't know. Shit. I went hard. What the fuck? The fuck rate is busted in this. It's insane. What is this? Hey, it's shitty ours. Okay. I have to try that at some point just to show it off. I haven't used a single... Other than Sonic Blade, I haven't used a single one of the, um... The lights I've gotten from leveling up. And I guess I've used um, basic strike rate a couple times. Yeah, but ours is basically unusable because the value is so low and you can't protect it with a uh, Genie Jafar, like in Recom. So it's uh, not good. Ragnarok might be good in this version though. I have no idea when I get that though. Yeah, ours is really cool in every game that isn't this version of uh, Chain of Memories. Ragnarok sucks. Not even for Heartless? I guess, I mean, like, why would you even need Ragnarok when you could just do this? But it looks like it has good wave clear. I don't know, I'll try it at least once if I get it. Still in Wonderland? No, I just came back here to get a specific enemy card. Doing some card grinding. I need the Crescendo enemy card. Ideally. Plus all the map cards that we're getting along the way are nice. We just gotta make sure that... Uh, the enemy card we want, we need to kill the enemy last for them to have a chance of dropping it. So we kind of have to get lucky with what uh, spawns we get. Plus, I killed them too early because that raid went too hard. Other than that, if I got a large body there. Hopefully, Cage 4 brings ours back to its former glory. Cage 3 ours was alright, I guess, but it was, took too long to unlock it. Page 4 needs to have a good sandbox. No more fucking attractions and RNG Grand Magic and form change meter style changes. Situation meter form changes, rather. No more of that, please. Let me use my EX... Let the EX meter survive development this time so that I can fucking use it to activate my fun buttons instead of, you know, starting off every fight with fucking four combos of four play just to get a form per keyblade. Hate that shit. Any and all KH3 tech people try to gaslight me into thinking is there is diminished by the fact that it takes so long to get into those fucking forms in the first place that I don't even want to do style play in that game. Because it did take so fucking long to get into the goddamn forms. Who's gonna have fun with that? If that's the gatekeeper of the fucking... Of all the fun form change strats, it's taking like a whole minute and a shitload of like... Cure converters and ethers to get meter quicker. It's so stupid. Getting 
lot of blues. Yeah, have um, have whatever e the EX meter. Have it like remember what you had going into the fight, like cage two drives, so that you know build up your meters over the course of the world visit, and then you know have it for the boss. Okay, this is the last enemy. Hopefully he drops it. Nope. So many fucking calm bounties. I've gotten like seven of them in this one room. I knew that fucking large body was gonna spawn in eventually. I gotta kill him first. I just killed everything. Except for the red nocturne, that's gonna so bad. Fuck. Oh. Actually good. That was actually good. Second best thing I could've gotten there. Now that I have a mega ether. That's actually good, because now I have two fire raid reload. Uh, two fire raid... Uh, reloads and um, the enemy cards to buff both reloads. That's actually not too bad. That's actually good. Not coping at all. I guess I have all the bounty cards for the rest of the playthrough, too. I think Almighty Darkness also has a uh, boosted drop rate. Can I use this door to use a lower value? I just want to do looming. Nope. Okay. I'll reset it with one of these fucking billion blues I got. I noticed the noises on the chain source keep it making any grout. Yeah, I, um, I noticed that too. Like, almost like right away I posted about it. Talked about it in my, um, discussion stream. Really cool though. I hope that they really do end up making that the new mechanic. Keyblade morphing. Hopefully that's what build is. That bottom button. I don't think Zlinger and Will makes that noise with his keyblades. Not even in three. But I know he would be morphing shit in three. All the same. Yes, I. If they kill the EX meter again. I'll be so mad if they just make it a shot lock meter and like nothing cool. Talks are lame, by the way. I don't think we've had that conversation in a while. Oh shit, no. The crescendos. Don't kill the crescendos, please. Okay, good. Let's be more careful this time. Fire. There you are. Fire. Nice, okay. Now I can go him. Oh. Yeah, it'd be cool if it was just called the build meter. That would that would track. What would build be translated into English? I've never heard build mean anything other than building objects together. Construct? Form? Maybe it'll be called form. Or form change is called in KH3 in Japan, like literal translation. They weren't called build, right? I, I would have. I would have. Uh, somebody would have made that connection already if it were. There's no way. Yeah, they better just bring back forms. Just a meter that you hold on to and build up over time. Placeholder text, there's no way. Definitely a placeholder hood, I'll say that much. 
But I think the text is still noteworthy, regardless. Yeah, I'm just gonna run from this encounter. If it's not the enemy I want, I don't want to kill the enemy permanently. Oh my god. Will you fuck off? He, dude, he, he won't stop. He's like programmed to go nuts if I'm trying to leave. Has to be. How much fear do you have of arrows reappearing? A pretty decent fear. I also have a fear of, um... Sekido and Ishimoto returning. I was thinking about that a lot today. Do you fear God? That is one of the things I don't fear. I fear man. And his machinations. More than I fear God. Oh. No crescendos? I gotta remember which one of these opening formations is a crescendo. I think this one's gonna be Red Nocturnes in a second here, or is it this the last guy? Oh my god, he's fast. What enemies are you looking for? I'm looking for uh, crescendos, the trumpets. They have a summon boost as their enemy card effect, and Omni Slash for three clouds is really good. Trying to get at least one of those. I don't think resetting the mob fight is working. I don't think it's re-rolling the enemy encounter, unfortunately. Yeah, it's probably Nocturnes I have to hit on the map. I was just thinking that it seems to be consistent to an enemy type that I can actually see. This is the third fucking room I've cleared and I still haven't gotten it. I fucked up a couple encounters, but still. Hate to see it. I guess I'm getting a shitload of cards. That's the benefit. So the more grinding I do here, the less cards I have to look for later. That's a, that's a dub. How insane would it be if Cage 4 was a command deck game? I've uh, said on the record once or twice that Cage 3 might have been better if it were command deck. Only because they don't really know how to make KH2 style gameplay against mobs very fun. But that's more so because they don't know how to do something rather than them knowing how to do something on purpose. Let's try this fucking room real quick. Yeah, they barely know how to make command deck either, but at least I can have more fun with it. Oh, there are the trumpets. Oh, the fucking large body. I'm actually gonna reset this encounter. I think I might be able to take advantage of that here. He's gone. Never mind. I despawned the enemy. Fuck. What if I leave? Oh, yeah, I could do this in Destiny Islands, couldn't I? I forgot that they show up there. But they're gonna be harder to kill there, but there's gonna be more of them, right? Large body, I keep forgetting about him. Fuck. He just spawns in like the last second. What am I supposed to do? Hand for cage four. What if. Okay, here's an idea. Here's. Since we're in the unprecedented era of things happening in Kingdom Hearts, what if hand. Instead of working on days, like we have been theorizing all along, what if they're a support crew for the main Kingdom Hearts team? What if they're pulling all the stops on this game? Just like how Osaka helped a little bit in um, Recoded, apparently. Didn't they? 100% they're doing a new mobile game? Oh, Don't even suggest that. If that's true, I'm gonna be black pilled. Beyond belief. 
That would be like the worst possible outcome of all the things I've been theorizing. Can't wait for Noctis to do this in Final Fantasy, or Kingdom Hearts 4. I hope he's the super boss. Just absolutely shoot the shit out of Sora, that'd be swell. I don't think I'm getting the crescendo encounter here that I'm looking for. I just got all the cards though. I'll clear this room and then I'll I'll leave one last chance. At the very least I've got the enemy cards. How they invented crescendos in this game. This was their debut. They just make them show up in worlds where they didn't exist in KH1. I think it's two Nocturnes at the start. It's crescendos and then large body. Yeah, uh, is how we do like that. As well. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! Whoa! That's what they do. In this game, they don't heal, they just fucking summon homies? What the hell? Oh no, no you don't! Oh. Yeah, Brain deserves to be locked behind mobile games, because his name is Brain. Kingdom Hearts games on mobile, there's a chance you don't get any brain anyways. Oh. I don't know if this is a Descendo fight. It's a fast one, though. I've heard about that light versus dark overhaul, but, uh, what the... I don't know how motivated I am to play Cage 3 again. Modded or otherwise. Secret large body, will he show up? Guess not. Oh. Yeah, I'll just clear this room and if I don't get it here, I'll just hope I get it and... Destiny Islands. At the very least, I got a shitload of cards, so it's always something to look forward to. Press the button? I will press the button. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you can. If not, enjoy the 60 second ad break. Okay, yeah, no dice. I'll just go back to, to um... You know. Get back on track here. I killed a lot of enemies. Debut. The OG.
Is that a kazoo? It does sound like a kazoo, doesn't it? Fun, 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 fun! It's a theremin? Oh, no fun. Recon rendition is pretty good. It's not a theremin? What is it then? Is it a kazoo? game where Sora gets gaslit. Actually, no. More so Dream Drop Distance. Oh. No, he definitely gets gaslit in this game more directly than in DDD. He gets gaslit so hard that he has to forget about this entire event. To fix it. I made it up. It's fiction. Not this time. We got you. Yo, Zora battle quotes be like, not this time. Nope. It took me a week to beat Yo, Zora. At level 50. I did my first playthrough of Remind at level 50. And it took me 7 sessions and 13 hours. It's called Faraga Break in this version. Not Burst. Is it good? It's probably bad. It always has been bad. Unfortunately. Despite being cool, it's also bad. I'm not even shitting, it, it did take me 7 sessions and 13 hours to beat Yozora. I posted, um, I posted it on my Twitter once. It was 7 recording files and 13 hours worth. It was actually, that week was hell. I wanna say, how many hours per average? You can calculate the average. I think I saved my cards properly. I don't have a one red? No way. No way, man. I did all that and I didn't get a one red? I'm gonna shut on my phone. Oh. How can that be? Damn. This is key to the It is. Key to the reward. First door I stumbled upon. Okay, that could have been worse. That could have been worse. First. I I saw it and I was like, oh yeah, this world has one door and it's Vexen. That was wrong. That could have been a lot worse. I'm still surprised though, I don't have a one red after all those fights. That, that still holds true. No fucking points. I got shit on GBA com. I want to sell enough stuff to get one though. That'd be nice. I need to put that mega ether on. It's time to start running that. I don't know if I'm gonna get enough points here. Yeah, fuck it. I don't want to sell everything. I don't have a lot of cards. This run. Doesn't really seem like I need a lot, though. We're doing just fine with, like, just the basic stuff. I'm gonna destroy Vexen 2 with fucking one slight, and that's gonna be awesome. I just put that in the penis deck. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. I have 800 card points, perfect. So I've got enough for the Mega Ether. And 
Any other nocturne? Nice. Gaming. Gaming? Did somebody say gaming? Gaming? Yo, Jackie, with the nine months. Thank you very much. Sheesh. Parasite cage to break his guard. Oh yeah, the um, the auto life. Yeah, I've got enough space and nothing I want more than to invalidate his cards. I don't have to make Stabulous space for it, though. I've got clouds on. I don't- I won't need them for this, I think. Oh, get rid of that blue Rhapsody. I can, I can fit my clouds, I think. Oh yeah, let's go. I've got... That one. Did I not put both Rhapsodies on here? Rhapsodies. The one time I don't call them all Nocturnes, I call them Red Nocturne or Rhapsody. Fuck. Where's the other one? Did I not get two? Where is he? In my deck? Oh, he is. He got mixed up and everything. Okay. I thought it was at the bottom. Alright, one last check. Yeah, see, if I didn't check, I would have been using the penis deck. Can't be making that mistake. Perfect. I won't use my teeming darkness, I'll use this. Any blue? Oh no, I used the higher value one. Yeah, lack of roulette rooms has slowed things down. Not very often, to be honest. But that's because I've been taking time to grind for um, enemy cards in low-level worlds, and that has accelerated the process inadvertently. But who knows? The biggest doors are yet to come. And I have not gotten a Joker yet, somehow. I remember once I did a Riku playthrough, they got like three Joker cards. No full voice acting? Yeah, this is a Game Boy Advance game. Unheard of for these games to have that. Is there one that does have that? There's no way. The opening FMV is like a third of the cartridge. The Chains of Memory. Yeah, I'm having a good day. I'm having a particularly good day today because the weather was nice and I got my um, final credits for my degree. Solidified. <laughs> You're so full of it. Sora never says stuff like that. It's interesting how many of these lines are verbatim with the English dub in Recom. Four hits, let's go. And why does he sound like a clown? He kinda is one. I he just broke my card. He just broke There's no feedback for you shaking the broken. Why do you just shit on the ground? Oh. Paying the price for some of these bad values. That owned, though. He's about to own, too. He's defenseless. Capitalize. He's defenseless. He's compromised. He's dead. Didn't even need a reload. Wow. 
Fucking sexy style! Wow, that's pretty good. He has like six health bars in recon, man. He doesn't even have like more than blue health, what the fuck? Jeez. All you gotta do is get a full screen's distance away from him so that the strike rate hits four times. It hits him twice going into him, stays in him, hits him again, and then hits him on the way back out. Four hits with a boost. I didn't even need to reload my deck. And I, I, not only did I not need to reload my deck, but I also lost two slights because of fucking card breaks. Crazy. Oh! He's got hit by the fifth strike raid. bits. You're off the hook. He actually says that in this version, holy shit. Yeah, a lot of these lines... Some lines are like very different, like committed to memory, but a lot of these lines are just verbatim with what they went with in Recom. That's cool. That's different though. That's different, what the fuck? Guess it doesn't snap. It's a bit more brutal. Like what what's more brutal? Being burned from the inside or being slashed in the back? I think Recom is a bit goes a bit harder, not gonna lie, thinking about it again. Unless it's a decapitation, but there's not enough detail to uh confirm or deny that. Jeez. Well that was a dub and a half. And that's gonna that's how we're gonna deal with Axel as well, ideally. Except with um ice instead of fire. I'm just gonna use this deck. This is sound. Just do that everywhere. Weak to fire or not, I can still boost it. It's funny how, in retrospect, these th the Larkseen thinks that these three would be able to take over literally every other organization member, including Xemnas. There's no way. They're not that strong. Marusha maybe, would carry. Axel might be smart enough to... You know, maybe the way that they would do it is they would do it methodically, like they're doing now. At least they would be able to get the rest of the Chain of Memories crew out of the way just by, you know... Actually, oh yeah, right, aren't they supposed to... They, I forgot. The whole point of the plot here is that Marusha is trying to get them to use Sora as well. That's like the whole point of what we're doing here, or what they were doing to us here. They're trying to... Uh, make Sora do the heavy lifting, basically. I forgot about that. That's like the <laughs> biggest plot point. That's like the whole point.
Gaslit Sora versus early days Roxas. Yeah, how would the, um... Ooh, yeah, imagine Marusha wins in this game. What's the fucking Sora versus Roxas fight gonna look like in that scenario? That would be crazy. Gaslit Sora versus... I guess Days Rocks is kind of sucks at that point in the timeline. Newborn Roxas would get demolished. He would have an aneurysm just looking at Sora. Not as much damage because of no um, weakness. Just gotta make sure we're at the right distance for the four hit. There we go. It actually doesn't need to be perfect as long as it goes through him. As long as it goes through him, but it's not far enough out that it, he recovers from the stagger. That's why tip distance is important. It's just so that he doesn't recover. How nice I broke that in time. Yeah, if you get it right on him so that it rebounds inside of him, then he doesn't. Well, tonight he just fucking stands there, I guess not. I'm trying to jump over that, it tracks upwards. Oh, fuck. Oh! Thank you. Oh! You were reloading! Why did you cancel? He's smart. What the fuck? Okay, well, there goes half my attacks for the rest of the fight. Oh. I got on. Okay, uh, how are we gonna recover from this? First of all, I've still got Cloud. And I can wipe that out. Okay, I'm just gonna go full send and then use Cloud to finish it out. Oh. Okay, pro tip, never take any of the slight upgrades. You don't need any of them. I think in this version, having a basic 1, 2, 3 with like a value of 15 because it's a slight. Oh, that's pretty good. I guess basic strike rate works too. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, the damage! What? What was that? Hold on, okay. Too bad that last hit whiffed. Whoa. Yeah, I know I can dodge roll it, I just keep trying to jump over it. Or not even trying to get the double tap that shit. Cloud went crazy there. Crazier than I've ever seen him. Go. Okay. Yeah, I need... I need, um... More Cloud cards, and I also need, uh... Summon boost. That's why I was trying to get summon boost. Imagine that, but boosted. This game's busted, but in fun ways. Recom could never compare. Riku's weak to neutral? Damn. He's he's weak to oblivion then. Oblivion is neutral damage. Who else is neutral? Reflect Raid, I guess. Cloud Raid. Trinity. Is Trinity Lumen in this? It is, isn't it? The GBA Com experience when. Actually, I'm going to be making that video, but it's not going to be like a meme highlight. It'll actually be more like a, um,. More like a Marsh video. I want to do that for old versions of these games. I want to do that for... Um... PS2 versions of KH1 and 2. Like, KH1 would include both Japanese vanilla and international vanilla in one video, and then I would also have a GBA com experience where I'd go over this version and all the ins and outs and all the crazy broken shit. What font is this? Is this a font that you can easily, like, download and replicate? 
Yeah, Marsh is an SMT, Marsh. I'm a little inspired by his videos, I must admit. Anybody that can put fucking SMT9 on... on the grid, single-handedly, is worth high praise. He followed me on, on here when I was playing SMT Apocalypse. He, uh, he followed me. Smile. He follows the stream, smile. It's a custom font. Somebody can make an edit with that, that uh, font spread. Boone was working on adding comp to the death gen generator. Jesse, what the fuck are you talking about? Who's Foon and what the fuck is the death generator? Is that like a sprite website or something? Yeah, so I just told Don Goofy to fuck off. What is his agenda here? Hey, gang. The Axel's agenda here, he's more so... He's, he's a double agent, right? Yeah, he's a double agent. That's the whole point. He just said how. Oh, no. This game is an unused Jungle King card. I didn't know that, actually. That's cool. How far are we gonna get? This is floor 12. Can we beat this game in two hours? Let's try. We can do it. The only cutscenes I'm watching are the um, original plot and none of Disney, so we're gonna be watching these, but they're pretty short. I'm just worried about certain doors that might catch us up for a while. Dark Side, Riku 4, Axel 2, Arc Scene 2, then Marusha. Not in that order. But yeah, I get you. Marusha 1 and 2. No Marusha 3 in this version. And Reverse Rebirth, but I will do that another stream. I just want to finish up Sora's story. Is there a MIDI version of Lord of the Castle? That'd be a cool remix for somebody to make. Take the GBA sound font and, um... Bit crunch Lord of the Castle as if it were in this version. That'd be cool. At Frederick Strife. Somebody already did? Okay, well. It hasn't surprised me, actually, that that's already been made. Graceful Assassin goes hard in this version, honestly. It really does. I need to listen to the, um... The uncompressed MIDI soundtrack. Destiny Islands. Is this place as big as it is in Recon? Let's see. Yeah, that's the same map. I remember this one. I can see why Jungle King was removed, but not the uh, Tarzan Heartless. Tarzan Heartless are more, more or less original design. There's Monkey Heartless. 
Jungle King, though, it's like, what's the point of even including it if the world's not gonna be there, you know? And it might even be stepping on the toes of, um... Permission by calling it Jungle King and it being associated with Cage One. Post the HDO is soothing Kenny Hearts channel. Cool. I'll check that out later. Judgment. That's new raid just dropped. New raid variant just dropped. Is that better for mob fights? Let's try it. Oops. How many arrows do I have? One? Didn't I sell one? God damn it. Is this game better in GBA? Um, honestly, yeah. More or less. For the most part, though, it's a bit more fun. Faster to get through. A bit less bullshit. Some more extra grinding you have to do, though, if you're not getting lucky with your cards. If you're stuck at a door. That's about it. Very good version, though. This is good to start out with. Um. Well, I mean, like, imagine you're doing your first playthrough of all the games. I, th I think I might still recommend playing through Recom instead. I don't know. I guess it depends on... I'm gonna buy a place right now. Not mentally, I just don't have the cards to get through the calm doors. <laughs> Classic. I do think bosses are better in this version for what it counts. Okay, which bosses are you talking about? Because it's been hit or miss for, for bosses being better in this version. Oh. That baseline is nice in my right ear. Oh shit, this is basically just reflect raid but better. Actually, that damage was shit. What the hell was that? Hold on. What was that damage? That was nothing. What was that? That was awful. Good for single target, perhaps. That's what I said earlier. I just wanted to see it. Is that, the damage looks very low, but maybe it just didn't hit very much. I'll try it more later. I do have Tornado. It's just I haven't really... I don't think I have the cards really to comfortably set it up everywhere. <laughs> My favorite deck. Why is this here? Really haven't gotten any more cloud cards since a billion years ago. Man. Oh well. Yeah, this is cage four. This is cage four that we're playing here. This game hearts for it just came out despite being just announced. Really a huge graphical downgrade. Surprising. They said this was gonna be on Unreal Engine 5, but um I don't know. I wonder when Kingdom Hearts 4 is gonna start getting added to the list of games on like Twitch and YouTube. When did Cage 3, does anybody, I, I doubt anybody knows because you guys aren't content creators, but I, one, I wonder when it'll start to appear in the category list for, like, Twitch. When did Cage 3 show up? Does anybody remember? You know, come to think of it, this is doing about the same damage as uh, Judgment. It's just, this has to hit a lot more often. For it to be just as good. Gotcha. 
Or as a damage output on a fire rate is better outright. For the boost. Yeah, enemies here might just be beefy, that is also true. It's about time for them to get upgraded. Oh my god. Oh my god. These are weak to fire? That's not fire. That's more like it. I know. Oh, uh, desync my cards back, so I don't know how that happened. And yeah, mimics. Orbs that I can't get because they're all over the fucking place within one frame. Thanks. God. Can't have shit in Detroit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Was your educational wisdom for the day, Sham? Um. Raids or the juice? And OG com. cards to spare. Hey, zero error. I got more judgments, I guess. In the trailer it says Lost Master Arc. What was the name of the old arc? I just spawned into a fucking dark ball. What the hell? Uh, old arc was named the um, Dark Seeker Saga or Dark Seeker Arc. Yeah. That's what they called it a long time ago before KH3. Like, I remember when they, in the same interview that they coined that phrase, they also said, they like implied that there was going to be something after it. I really think that all KH3 was was just set up for this. Every day I begin to think that more and more. And for good reason. Page 3 was kind of doomed from the start to not really add much new to the table, you know? It, all it was was just wrapping things up. Wrapping up loose ends. Obligatory loose ends and all. Like I just exploded. That's what Page 3 was. And it makes a lot of sense. Why is that 7 cure in the middle of my deck? I thought I fixed that. Why do I keep fighting these fucking boxes? What am I doing? I want to take some fights so I can... Potentially get summon boost off of a crescendo, but that's unlikely. Hey, mingling worlds. What's oh, this? Holy, holy shit! You get it at level forty-two. Okay. Weird. Since when? Definitely not since recon. Hey, gravity, I needed that for a limit that I wanted to try, a slight I wanted to try using, like, an hour ago. Yeah, Quake. I could try that now. Let's try it. It was gravity, Simba, and any something? Hold on. I don't remember. Quake useful against Arxene? I don't think so. Quake is an AoE spell. Yeah, it's not useful against Arxene. I don't really know about this version, but I would assume it's about the same. Quake is only good if you're, like, surrounded by enemies. That's a tornado. 
Any magic card, okay. I'll use a cure, why not? Always funny to use a cure in an offensive slight. Is freeze in this version? I would have it by now if it were. I guess it's not in this version. You get it? You're supposed to get it after Vexen 2. Maybe Vexen 1. It isn't? Yeah, I would have had it by now if it were in the same spot. Okay, there's the 50 door. Okay, um, big cards only, please. Premium sucks, so I'll just do that. Oh. I could play my cards better here if I did math properly. Yeah, sure, whatever. I haven't even used the key at beginnings, whatever. Where is it? Wow, I walked straight past it, okay. I hope I have an 8 card, because I think I used like two 8 cards on that door. Okay, we're good. Don't know about two, though, but I probably have a two. Let's take one of these fights. Maybe Cassendo is near. Yep, they're there. Now we're at the mercy of killing the enemies in the right order, which is hard to do in this version. Oh, they're all dead. Oh, we're good. Oh, that was quick. That was the same animation as uh, Recon. They really imitated it in Recon pretty well, actually. Alright, pray. Hope and pray for card RNG. Let's go. Oh. Although, granted, this isn't a room that has a higher chance of me getting it. Hoopla. I need to try the damage output of um, Quake on its own. See how good it is. Alright, where is it? Gravity? Where is it? There we are. That wasn't all too bad. That's pretty good, I'd say. Maybe not Room of a Reward good. Especially without a freeze follow up. Freeze plus Quake is like second only to Mega Flare in Recom. Somebody asked earlier what version of Recom would be better to do on a first playthrough. I think Recom is better on a first playthrough because you got, you know, voice acting and whatnot. I think that alone and like real cutscenes more than uh, makes it better than GBA Com. Yeah, there it is. Let's go. Only took like 17 fucking tries. Let's go. Put that on deck one. Finally. Forfeit magic card use. I didn't realize I did all that. Worth it though. Worth it for cloud. I just need more cloud cards. I fucking sold two of them earlier like an idiot. I guess I need, you know, I need three, six, or nine for it to be worth anything in between. It means I have an incomplete Omni Slash. Hooray, we got it. It's 
put on that arrow so I can either have a zero in a pinch or um, slap together a judgment if needed. I'll keep it on slot one, why not? Where am I? Okay, please, do I have a two? I don't have a fucking two, man. Okay. Fucking okay, A. I don't have a two. Did I spend a two on the 50 door? I'd be so mad if I did. Yeah, go fish. Anybody? <laughs> okay, it's probably in everybody's recommended, more or less, but have you seen the, uh, the go fish video that's on everybody's recommended right now? For legal reasons, I cannot say the full name of the title. I did spend a two on the fifth door, goddammit. Okay, time to go fish, I guess. Yeah, I've, I've got mental Illinois. I don't have the card I need. Mario, go fish! Please be two. Ah! One. Never spend any cards ever. That's how you get through GBA Con. Never spend any cards ever. Light. Okay. He's gonna hit all four of them, or is just the ones in front? Holy shit, the zoom! Didn't kill him. Ow. Please, no. Here we go. What did I just do? I guess I accidentally dodge roll boots. I wanted to hit more shadows there. Oh, I've got this. Hold on. It's not too bad. I'll keep it in my deck. For cir circumstances like that, where I want to hit everything in a circle around me, usually have no means of doing that. Did I just get it too? I wasn't looking. Any thoughts on Missing Link? Um, I think on precedent, it's whack because it's a phone game that... It, okay, it's whack in two ways. It's a phone game and it um, looks like it's trying to be... It looks like it's trying to play like Cage 3. Cage 3 phone game? No thanks. Two reasons to dislike it. We're using assets, yeah. Genshin hearts. I'll probably play it once if I can find a way to stream it, like play it on Boost Act or whatever that thing is. I'll, I'll, at, least, I'll at least try it and use some of those NFT attacks that you use instead of medals, they're NFT attacks. Those little fucking Donald medals. I probably cost Ethereum to unlock. Can't wait. I don't have a two. Or a joker. I would spend a joker on that two card right now. On that two door. No, that's a lie. I would save it for the 99 door like a smart person would. If I ever get sponsored by Square Enix for Kingdom Hearts content, it means somebody at Square Enix did not do their homework.
it looks visually like Cage 3, but it looks like it kind of plays like Neo 2e. See, somebody in here was saying that... Somebody in here was speculating that Hand is going to do Missing Link. Which would just absolutely make me not pleased. Sign up for the Square Enix Partner Program to see if they let you in. I should. Do they... Are there any obligations for being in that program? Any things you have to do? Or is it just like a thing? Hey, Barrel Spider. What does that do? Just a thing? Yeah, quick load. That might be useful, I don't know. I don't think you're forced to do anything, but you might get, start getting press packets. I definitely should sign up then. See if they, um... You know... Take the bait. <laughs> nah. I'd be a good- I'd be a- I'd be a good soldier. Don't tell him that. Probably free merch. Okay, I could get down for that. Give me a- Give me a Square Enix refrigerator. Influencerscoreenixgames.com? Hell yeah, I will- uh, Let me bookmark that, actually. You have to make KH Theory videos daily? That explains it. Oh shit, the gamers joint uploads in five minutes? Gamers joint in five minutes, guys. <laughs> I, I, I mean, whether I want to or- whether I want to be or not, I am a Square Enix influencer. Whether that's a good thing for them or not, I am influencing them. I am influencing my audience on if they should get Square Enix products or not. Where's this door? Where's this door? I've been, like, walking around. Where's this fucking door? Where's the north door? What the fuck is happening here? What is happening here? What is it, like, in the middle floor of this area? What is this? That door. There's a tree in front of the door? It's upstairs? Have I not gone- I haven't gone up this ladder at all. Okay, that's, that explains it. I thought I went everywhere. Oh. Reflect the really reflect late ref, ref, I don't I'm five years old and I haven't formed my R's yet. Reflect raid is kind of falling off. Ugh. Oh. You need passion, professionalism, and a constructive, positive attitude for the program. Oh, I definitely have passion. Am I professional? If I want to be. Not on stream. I'm deconstructive. Not constructive, but deconstructive. Do I have a positive attitude? I don't know about that. I don't know about that last one. I have a positive attitude in the long run. Not a positive no. attitude about... Oh. It depends on how you define positive attitude. I haven't gotten the two yet. I'm positive about Days Remake. I don't know if they will, um... If they're positive about it, though. Yeah, I do always explain how I would make things better when I'm talking about how shitty certain things are. I do try to do that as much as possible. What am I doing? I'm looking for my cards, map cards. The cool thing is, though, especially if I signed up for that program and or got in, next time they do one of those fucking fly out, um, fly out Dean and Biz and whatnot, one of those events, and Maximilian, next time they do one of those events where they fly him out to play an early build of Cage 3 or whatever, Cage 4, this time around, I guess I might be available for that drawing. 
I would love to go to one of those. Maybe hire me as your PR person when you make it big. I will. Because I certainly don't know what the fuck I'm doing with my personal relations. In all likelihood, yes. That's a quote. That phrase has stuck with me ever since fucking Bernie Sanders was once asked, um, will you make your vice president female? If elected, and he said, in all likelihood, yes. In all likelihood, yes. And you know, how could he say anything else after Joe was like, oh, I already, I already lined you up. Why am I doing a Trump impression for Joe? What? Yeah, Joe Biden was like, yeah, I, I already do have a female vice president lined up. It's the most unpopular, uh, most unpopular candidate in this entire election. Lost in her own state. That's my choice. They get two. They just get two. What? Does that make me a forced diversity hire? You're British. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Please give me a two. Please, two. Please be. Yes! That's a two. That's a two. Two? God, based on how this Destiny Islands is going, I don't know if it will beat uh, Castle Oblivion tonight. I think I'll finish this world and I'll call it for tonight so that I can do all of Castle Oblivion uh, final boss stuff and then start Riku no. mode. We'll see. See where we get after this. Mario, go fish! Oh, this is the dark side fight, isn't it? I hope I have a good deck for it right now. I don't think I do. Damn, this game really is 60 FPS. Look at that screen shake. Okay, no. No dark side fight. That's good. That's good. Okay. Not yet, at least. Oh. Yeah, most Game Boy Advance games were 60. It's just interesting to see.
Yeah, GBA was pretty good. That's the room for rewards. Don't go there. It's crazy how quickly Square Enix was like, "Yeah, we're let's let's remake Chain of Memories into a 3D game." Like that was so fast for them. Meanwhile, they're still dragging their ass on fucking days. Where's the days remake? Come on, man. I'm so surprised that um, they didn't announce days remake before Cage Four. Or even Barum Rex for that. Okay, that's mustard health bar. That's damage. That was damage. Much better than than that. Do I know of any arrows? I only have like two. Ow. Oh, oh shit, I'm getting comboed. Uh -oh. I'm being pulled towards him. This is kind of annoying. I'm not doing anything, what the hell? Oh. Okay. Emergency hero. Wow. Wow, 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 okay. That is a thing that you can do. Fuck. Holy moly. Um, let's try this. Kind of desperate right now. I hope it hits his head. Oh, that's just the worst possible scenario right there. Just despawn. Oh no. Oh, shit. Oh no. What? That sound effect is in this game? Oh, right. No magic cards. Still summon boost on. Uh, yeah, this is a wash. It's still like... Three and a half health bars to get through. Yeah, kill me. Punch me. Of course, the one time I actually want to die. Yeah, I forgot about the lack of ability to use uh, spells. I was wondering why I was hearing that sound effect. I was trying to stock cards. It's pretty wild. Who's coming so I can reset? Fire rate is not good in this fight because there's no opportunity to land it really. I don't know how I'm gonna get through all these health bars. This is the most amount of health I've ever seen an enemy have up to this point. It went from like blue health at most to this. That's interesting. Oh my! Oh my! Oh, there's a new arrow. No, that's that's my deck. It's already in my deck. What are we doing here? I don't have any more clouds, which is very unfortunate. Shit. Um, we might have to go with a, a plain deck like this and just go ham. Like we did for Ursula. Okay, yeah. Plan C here. Crescendo for the clouds. Magic- summon cards are magic, right, in this? Because I could get two Omni Slashes in instead of just one. every sort of um, physical augmenting card here, so I think uh, Guard Armor is already on there. Is it? Or are you? I didn't see it in my 
in my box. I'm not going for Barrel Spider, I don't need that. I don't need faster reloads. There it is. This should be good, I think. Yeah, let's try this. Although, maybe I could throw in a couple arrows just for that tornado, or that tornado, that, um... Judgment action was pretty good. Oops. Fuck. Dropped an input there. Okay. Taste all that good? Probably not, actually. I lost the cloud? Oh, okay, that explains it. Let me, um... That's very important. Uh, do that. That's very expensive. What the hell? Okay, perfect. Just gotta reorganize. Get you there. Get these all organized, I guess, for whatever that matters. Cool. Okay, hopefully this is all we need. Okay, that, that's permanent. Permanent error. I have to commit to it now. I'm just gonna wait for his hand to come down. I cancelled the fucking hand and it made him retract the hand and it made- oh, okay. Kill me. In fact, I'm gonna fast forward. <laughs> what? How long does it take to fucking die in this game? What? Okay. Jeez, that's that ten no. times speed. There's like an edit. What the hell? Okay, don't stock the wrong card right away, please. Shadows got involved and it fucked up my slight. Sad. Six. Yeah, fucking six is it really tracked in there. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Maybe here. Ah, man. Okay, let's try doing that right away. I'll get it. What is this penis music? This is like a real song that plays if you play it this fast. Oh, ah, ah. Oh, okay. Turn it off. Yo, creepy culture with the raid. I hope uh arc scene went well. Did it go well? The island's breaking. Okay, let's let's try a cloud right away and if it fails then I reset. One hit. Please keep hitting all. Oh. You know, it's probably the best I'm gonna get. I don't know when to time that shit. Uh, what are we using here? Fuck it, I'm just gonna go in. Oh no. Why am I being pulled towards him? That's like the most annoying thing in this fight. God, these cards suck. Uh, 
crazy. I know it's because of the wind, and I'm asking why, hypothetically. Oh, why am I being pulled? I can't tell what's pulling me. There's nothing to do with the fact that this fucking whole arena is spinning. I actually do have another shot at Cloud. I have, um, the High Aether, or whatever it's called. Oh. There's no winds here. No displacement effect in Recom, thankfully. I don't know. Show Dragon Wilson. Put your hand down. That's alright. Can I reach him? Nope. Maybe with, um, guard armor. Man. This is like recom speed of reloading with overdrive. That's crazy. That's exactly how fast it is in recom. It really is. I have not had an opportunity to actually attack him in like three years. Of course, the moment I do, I'm reloading. This fight just might be a battle of attrition, honestly. And these cards suck. That doesn't help. Dealing less than a pixel of damage. Wide attack is quite good in this version because of issues like this. Jump good. Jason. Okay, I'm gonna try and get this to come out. Okay. New opportunities. Please actually work this time. Wow, that's so bad. I only have two arrows. I think I sold a couple of arrows, which sucks. It's the best thing to use here, Judgment. Like, even if he despawns, it'll still stay up his ass. Almost literally. Look at that. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. No thanks to Cloud. I know what I could do, though. Well, now it's too late because I stocked these cards, but I could have uh, tried to reflect to raid as well. Let's do this for what's worth. Nice. What are we doing here? Dark side? Figure it out. Wow, they did the one pixel of damage between two hits, okay. How come I can't hit the hand when he's doing that animation? That'd be helpful. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna wait for him to put his hand down again now that I realize I can do that here. Oh, but I'm gonna fucking die. Okay. He tried it. Ow. 
Alright, try it. I dare you. It's more or less the same as Judgment Raid, just Judgment Raid has a higher chance of actually hitting. Always helps. Uh oh. Let's not fuck it up. No, don't. Okay, that was a little scary. Could have been anything. Man. Can we close this out, please? It's been a long fight, like 10 minutes already. <laughs> that you didn't lose premiums and slights? It's actually the other way around. You lose... You lose premiums, no matter what, on a reload. Let's go. Dark side copies the enemy's effect. Probably about time we start raising health again. I don't know how crazy things are going to be around the corner. Speaking of around the corner, don't we have, um... Riku and Lark scene back to back in like a second here? Yeah, Judgment Raid was definitely the way to go in that fight. Probably the number one best thing to use. It's just you don't have many arrows. I guess I didn't. Two of them? Two? Two of the most boring character in the world? Okay, that's that's fighting words. I don't know. I don't know about that. Yeah, Namine is goaded. Choose the choose the original better than Kyrie character. or something. Okay, that's a little fucking... I like Pilk. For like, two minutes. In the right- in the right quantity mixes, uh, Pilk mixes decently, but it fucking curdles the milk if you don't do it right. And then it also sits badly over the course of like 30 minutes. Yeah, 50-50 was, um, shitty. 75-25 was good. I tried poking it literally on camera. It's good. Kinda. Yeah, in order to properly mix pilk, you have to, like, mix it as you're pouring slowly. Oathkeeper, let's go. I forgot about that. Okay, do we do Larxene and Riku now? Or do we save that for next stream? So my back kind of hurts. And I'm a little hungry. We're at hour 5 here. How much time we got left? I got one world. Oh, uh, I got all of Castle Oblivion, which, um... This whole 99 door I have to get through. Uh, yeah, I just want to make sure that there's a decent bit left of Sora's story before um, going into Reverse Rebirth. 
Pilk. It's kind of good. There are a lot of, uh, Pilk is basically not all that different from Root Beer Float. That's the, that's the hard truth of it. It's just the problem is that, um, uh, milk is not ice cream until it's melted. Never had a root beer flow. It's like Pilk, but good. That's a good way of putting it. Don't try Pegnog in about seven months. I think I have to, honestly. It's called Pegnog. How could I not? How could I not? Pegnog. I tried Eggnog. Like, the first time, a couple years ago, it was actually really good. I'd never had it, like, all my life. Alright, what are we doing here? In fact, hold on. What about Pissy Shitties? Is that a... Is that a British mix? That's more like it. It's real. Let's go! Oh. Yeah, Pilk is, um... It's definitely something. I think it deserves its bad reputation because of the fucking curdling alone. The fact that that's something you have to worry about is concerning. Will you name deck one Ultra Instinct Goofy? If, if Goofy had Ultra Instinct Slights in this game, I would, but he doesn't necessarily... Um... Doesn't necessarily hit super hard. Unlike Recon, where you can do fucking... What is it? Goofy sprint thing where you hold on like a fucking plank of wood and run. What was it called? I actually forget what that slate was called. Yeah, Wild Crush. That shit. If you get the finishing blow with it, it's alternate and goofy, but that's about it. Hmm. I actually do want to do these fights now. Let's see what we can do. Okay, what is Pissy Shitties? I actually know that's a real thing, but I don't know what it is. memory is a train when you pour Pepsi into popcorn and it turns into a delicious buttery sweet sludge that they do that in fucking Drake and Josh it's an actual Drake and Josh joke except instead of uh, Pepsi it's um I'm using the wrong deck I think for this I am dealing neutral damage here and I have um oh shit I don't have um Summon boost. I'm actually gonna die here because I have a really good. I have a good strat for this. Where did they go wrong with America? Pot calling the kettle black. I see. Okay, yeah, let's put on um, the deck that has summon boost. Didn't say we were better. True, but... What is my deck here that has the good shit? The Pilk deck has summon boost, but I can just put summon boost on this and take off the, uh, the reflect raids. And it would be ready to go. Yeah, let's do that. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Fuck. Oh, 
Oh my god. I keep forgetting. The wrong menu. Yeah, GBA com is kind of overall more solid than Recom. But you know, Recom is actual voice acting in cutscenes. Why am I scrolling through my enemy cards for Cloud? There you are. Okay, let's not fuck that up again. Review deck. And now we're organized. Let's go. Yeah, the sprite work is really fucking solid. All of the organization characters look almost exactly as they do in 3D, more or less. Their um, their sprite, their talk sprite in cutscenes is solid. I don't think I've ever seen much of Reverse Rebirth on GBA, really, like in terms of cutscenes and sprites and whatnot. So that's exciting. I don't have any more fires, what happened? Alright, you know what. Let's do that. Get the summon boost, where's Crescendo? Where's that little fuck? That horn fuck? There you are. Yeah, let's just try this. Yeah, penis deck. We're going hard. Here's my gas can. My brother Josh. Oh, zero. And his two kids. Okay, when that happens, um. That's all we gotta do. Instant fucking zero. What is this, recom? Yeah, I don't know. People will be saying that Marusha's hair is brown in this version. I don't think that that's true. It looks pink. Yeah, okay, he's got that zero. I see your fucking zero. Okay. Okay. I will get this Omni Slash to work at least once at the start of the fight. Do I have the, uh, the Mega Elixir on? Not Mega Elixir, the Mega Ether. Yes, I do. Yeah, I could wait for the reload, but I don't know how long that's going to take. Or at least cancel the slight. How is it not high enough to beat a 13? Is it that low? I didn't realize it was that low. Anyways, yeah, Pissy Shitties is a, literally a Drake and Josh joke because of the, um, one of Drake's dates that, um, mixes honey in with the, um, was it honey or something sticky that she mixes in with the popcorn? Cloud, stop living. Look at that damage. Is your king dumb? Because <clears throat> he doesn't have the heart to go on a run, sugar free, to accelerate the healing of his biology while eating his own damaged flesh and blood to greet the growth hormones that are required to raise a king's dome so he can have wisdom. Yeah, even without some boost, that shit hits hard. Uh oh. Oh no. There we go. Okay, Did time for normal strats. Oh. That's a 27! 27! Oh no. He's fucking all my low value slides. Okay, I got away with murder there. Fucking rolling. Oh, perfect! Please roll through that. Okay, first time I got that to work. Oh, I don't know, it's over. 
I'm comboed. I didn't get hit by that. Oh. Yeah, he actually triple nine a dark aura, and I only have like two fucking zeros. Here's your button. In quantum mechanics. I I kind of altered the wrong deck for this. I don't need two fucking red nocturnes. This is supposed to be my field deck. I kind of fucked it up by turning it into a boss deck. If only I had like 17 cloud cards that would own here. Because this guy's weak to neutral damage. I should put on his arrows then. In that case. I'll More zeros, you, perhaps. He's just a sexy guy. He's just a sexy guy. And, uh, yeah, you know, the gamer girls are really gonna like it. Mario, we're fucking stuck. Oops. I don't need that. Or that. Actually, I could use one of those, but not two of them, I think. And then... He has Incrementer here, which is... It's one Search Ghost. Lifesteal might help here. Holy values. My oh, ass values here, I'm stunned. I'm trying to wait for the right time to pop this. It has to be it has to be just right. Oh god. My the value of my cards have not kept up. I can't fucking use that zero because I've got this dumbass card active. Okay, you know what? Huge. Huge. Hit, please hit all four times. Oh no. Yeah, it's GG right there. Holy shit. Okay, bet, sir. The damage is good if I'm using fucking neutral damage stuff here, like this. Let's see how this goes. I can't believe he can buck with his cards in the middle of that. While being juggled, where are you? There you go. Oh, why are you allowed to do that? This is some recon shit where he's able to act out of hit stun, but I'm not. There's like 14 elixirs too, what the hell? They're gonna use three, it's the start of the fight. Come on, grow up. Oh, he's trying to do that. I could have broken that, I think. No, mathematically that was a 12. I could steal his slight lock with the dark side card. Oh my god. I'm gonna try something stupid. Uh. Recom strats. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm actually stunned when I get hit by that. I'll try this a couple more times, but I'm getting desperately hungry here. So I'll probably call it in a bit. Hunger debuff is kicking in. Oh, yeah, let's try that dark side shit. Slight lock is actually good. But Dark Side costs literally 99 fucking card points. I've gotten such shitty cards from the Moogle this playthrough and like barely any Moogle points. That's been a little crazy. Gonna get Subway. It is 1130. 
and nothing's gonna be open in about 30 minutes. Actually, I think Taco Bell will be. I'll get like three orders of nacho fries and nothing else. Because I don't fuck with Taco Bell. Except for the nacho fries with cheese. I think that's what I'll do. They're the only place I can rely on being open. At this time. I don't think I have any Jack in the Box anywhere near me. I'm in the Midwest. I don't think that exists here. He did not use Slight Lock. I just realized that my whole strat was to wait for him to use that, and he has not. I can still use this now, though, and use the Mega Ether. Get that shit back later. He's gonna fucking slate out of this, isn't he? Yep. Okay, well. He's got Incrementer, and he's not gonna... Okay, it's over. Can you jump this? If you get hit by it once, there's a high chance you're not getting away from it. I'm confused? Holy shit. Oh my god. I really am confused. Oh, I fucking menu. Okay. Okay, I think that's an omen. I should put these foolish ambitions to rest. Hunger debuff is kicking in hard. Yeah, I think just using two clouds would be better for this case, because, you know, you can't really depend on getting all four hits in. But the two, the, um, the three hits he does with just two clouds is much better and more practical. Yeah, cross slash would be three. That'd be pretty good. Yeah, I'm taking damage over time here. I better get out of here. Let me save state. Just to make sure. Omni Slash is four hits, but it's rare that Cloud actually fucking tracks properly and hits all three against, um, all four against small bosses like this. But yeah, um, tomorrow is Thursday. Most likely we'll be going live again with more of this. And I'll see you guys then. Let's see if anybody's live I could raid, perhaps. I'll go raid Ninten. He's playing K1 Rando, which is very based. Our favorite around here. Okay, have a good night. I will be mo like 80, 90 percent chance I'll be live tomorrow as normal. Trying my best to get through this game as soon as possible so we can get to Cage 2 French, which is the next sub goal that we have, um, that we fulfilled a little while ago. We'll be playing Cage 2 French. Make sure to follow if you, uh, haven't already. Because that's gonna be a lot of fucking fun. And the game's also gonna beep a shitload, which is always fun. But yeah, stay tuned for more. Thank you guys for always uh, being interested in all the things that we do around here for Kingdom Hearts. I try to... try to shake it up. You know how it is. I'll see you guys tomorrow.